creating your first video, you should start with I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Welcome to my party Fuck it.
they might like how you name them. Come, let me watch you fight. Where'd you learn to fight? There. I'll see you ahead. God, that was so cool. Sounds like the key. It's now speaking of. I must head there now. Feel free to look around. is secure. We'll lend our aid to heal Boria's army.
like some music. No worries. Ah. Saturday, just chill. Alright. The best way to do that is to make a video on it. <laughs> Show it works until you get to a boss and you can't kill anything. Yeah, only a two-minute scale. Sad 
just <laughs> Carefully.
them safe. We'll reconvene outside. I kind of wonder how good you can make. So Everyone does I'm sure you have questions, but let me first check and make sure the epoch's safe. Good. No. Terra's blessing. Prayers be with you. Everything okay? What? That and what? That we think. Are you, you? Stay safe. Stay alive. And bring Arthur's back.
tried the bear before. I mean, if we could get 30 stacks of bleed on something. Hey, hey. Hey, what's up? What's up, dude? How much? Just kind of hanging out. Where is your stream? Do you want it on Twitch or YouTube? <laughs> uh, let's go on YouTube. Gotcha. Not so much the fact that we would have chats, but, but that if we did, we'd be able to see them. <laughs> if the hypothetical chats existed. <laughs> uh, it was really funny to, to hear me on your stream. <laughs> No, I did. I did. I did. It was just weird to hear myself on your stream. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna like it. <laughs> I like it. Hey, hey, hey! I liked it. What's up, dude? How much? Just kind of hanging out. Where is your How's stream? Things, man? Yeah, don't I know it? <laughs> the yeah, the the bill was actually really strong, but even more annoying though. I got the most insane drops. Like I was getting like I, I had I had more uniques in the first twenty levels than I've ever had in this game, <laughs> and so I'm just flying through the campaign. Okay. Getting angrier and angrier <laughs> as I'm playing. Because <laughs> it, it's just so good. Um, and then I'm like, I'm like, well, can I optimize things in this way? And the answer is kind of at a high level, maybe. 
<laughs> but at a low level, it, it's just kind of like, like, huh. do it this way. Gotcha. Um. Oh shit, I didn't realize this. I was looking to see what the upcoming magic expansions were. Apparently, one of the next sets is a anthropomorphic animals were like forest world set. Man, I'm all about going back to the furries. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I uh, like honestly, I, I kind of like those. Like again, Lorwyn is uh, my favorite set of all time. Um, yeah. Triple I mean, it was, was so much fun. I didn't like the other ones as well. Draft or otherwise. Um, I, I was fine with the other ones, but yeah, I hear you. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's not that it was, um, it's not that it was awful. It just, like, I could be doing triple work. <laughs> <laughs> No, I get it. I hear you. <laughs> Mole Drifter was amazing. Like, oh, that, that was such a good sound. True. I definitely enjoyed Lorwyn. <laughs> but yeah, uh... Oh. I'm gonna be... Do we know anything about the mechanics, or is it just the true uh, our favorite? Uh, mice, mice, fighting wolves, <laughs> squirrels, frogs, mice, and rabbits. Ugh. So it's it's. God, what, what was that? Was it was it Redwall? I think it was Redwall. There's a series of books where the badgers are like the wolves and stuff. Sure, yeah. <laughs> uh, it doesn't sound like. It doesn't sound like uh, we have an obvious. Yes, there's a. Uh, oh, here we go. Themes and mechanics. There's a mechanic called offspring, but we're not. We don't know what it is. So we'll see. It's a, it's a couple of sets away. <laughs> it's two sets away. The next set is... Shit, what was the next set again? I just like the idea... Thunder of... Junction. Oh yeah, Thunder Junction. Okay, that's an it's awesome the, uh... name for a, for a set. I'll, did, I'll did, you, did, you, did you not hear about this one? This, no. is the, uh, this is the Wild West theme. Oh. <laughs> that they got. I'm glad they don't do enough. Thunder. Yeah. Yeah. They. They should just do more. Like. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it's. Um, they go out to. You, it, it's a plane where it's a bunch of criminals, and they're all trying to. They're all trying to swindle each other. <laughs> I'm on board. That was the best part about Kamigawa. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I think we're following this guy. Every once for in a better. While. For better or for worse, <laughs> we'll try to for, we'll we'll try to forget about like you know what Kamigawa's had some good cards and we're like oh those were the only good cards like OG Kamigawa yeah oh there were only like four I mean, yeah betrayers <laughs> we, like everything yeah. was awful <laughs> we, we we say there are only four good cards but we mean there are only four good cards in the whole block. <laughs> It was like GT. I've already so forgot. Skull. Nope. Gifts ungiven. Thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm blanking on a few things. There, there's definitely something. <laughs> I'm yeah. definitely blanking on it. Oh no. Oh, uh, what the heck? Um. It was a bad. It was a bad set, man. <laughs> oh, 
here's one for the furries. <laughs> it's so true, though. <laughs> Listen, you gotta rep the furries. There's this, there's this type of person who wants to be really open, sharing, and inappropriate. <laughs> okay. And they get really upset if you say anything wrong. And that's kind of been my opinion of, okay. of Keely. Um, okay. Good otherwise, but eh. Um, so... Keely is really funny because, like, for a while, we were when we were social distancing, she and Steph would have the longest conversations, and occasionally I would just overhear, and I've never heard so much about someone's collection of bad dragon dildos. <laughs> like, hey, oh, hey. oh, you've entered in the wrong time, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I came in and heard Dragon Dildos. Sounds good to me. <laughs> so what y'all up to? Not much. I'm streaming. Um, and I was telling Mike about uh, a friend of ours. We don't talk, talk to her too much anymore. Um, uh-huh. She's... She's got the, the she's got that kind of independent wealth, like family wealth, where like sh her entire like like basically her entire generation of a family doesn't work. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh my! <laughs> oh like, my indeed! Yeah, like I don't think any of them has a job. Like ah, interesting. And. Steph does a really good job of like being okay with that, whereas I, I don't deal well with that at all. Like, uh, I, I don't know what, what it is, but yeah, I've got a, I've always had to think about like, um, like certain levels of wealth. Like it's like a chip on my shoulder. I assume because my family is farmers from. Uh, from Oregon. <laughs> Except for the last generation. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's she's a little bit of a character. The funniest story I can give you about her is we were all watching a show mm -hmm. and I decided, like, she was watching in her house and she was on like basically facetiming us via the computer and uh lauren's over and i decide i want to make a joke to make lauren laugh um, okay and so I, I i make a really dumb joke like okay it's basically just a bit about uh it was something to, it, it, it was something to the effect of like like, Keely gets up to go, and I'm like, yeah, let's all take a break um, while the cam show is off. And Keely got so mad at me. <laughs> but I made Lauren laugh, so my goal was, uh, my goal was achieved. Uh, but mm. Keely was like, why would you sexualize my son, me like that? And I'm like, I wasn't sexualizing you, not intentionally, but that was the joke. Um, <laughs> 
I mean, I feel <laughs> like that, that was pretty what's intentional. Yeah, that's but, not like, what's going on. Like, that's why it's a joke. And she was just like, oh, Yeah, I'm not actually I'm... doing it. I'm. <laughs> but you're doing it. Like, the joke is doing it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it's not even that. It's, it's like, it's because it's not happening. That's why it's funny. Like, <laughs> we're, we're all sitting down and watching something, and you just happen to be on a th- thing. And also, the idea of everyone sitting around a computer. Watching a cam show, especially when it's like me, my sister, Megan, like, like that was funny. But I got Lauren to laugh, so that was fun. But Keely was like so miffed, and I was like, I, I apologize. I'm like, hey, that's not how I meant it. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I was just cra- cracked up. Um, but yeah, it's just really funny because she'll have like conversations long conversations where she tells you all about her new dragon dildos and <laughs> um yeah and then that... and then i made a a cam it wasn't like you were doing like we're just watching a movie and she's like why would you sexualize me like that <laughs> i'm like okay there's a, there's a tad there's a tad bit of dissonance i guess <laughs> that that one it's That one, it's confusing to me because, like, I I was legitimately surprised she took it like that. Like, like that clearly wasn't like I, I, nothing we've been doing or talking about was. Oh, oh all right. That's not like the, the thing. But, hey. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, she's just uh, she's a character. We haven't actually it's heard very much just from her. Her discarded diamond. Um, I think Steph talked to her a while back, but like, <sighs> she has a lot of health issues, mm-hmm. and like they're the rare kind of health issues where you like, you don't know how to interpret it. Like, mm. what do you mean? Um, they're not things which I would ever. Oh. So the example I always use is allergies. If you've never had allergies, you might, like, you can, I can totally see some of these saying it's saying, oh, well, they're not that bad or anything. Or, yeah. Like, I mean, I don't have allergies, but I've seen Andrew. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, they're, they're entirely, pretty bad. Yeah, it depends entirely upon the person yeah, yeah, and yeah, what's yeah. going on. But, like. Um, yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying, though. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. um, but if you've never had them, you would be like, like, you can go to work with allergies. Or if you have had them, or you've had experience with people, you're like, "Oh, that could be really bad." Like, like it's just there's a wide differential. Right, Um, right, right. right, Anyway, Keely has like celiac disease and like just everything. Not pleasant. Um, (laughs) Very not pleasant. (laughs) And Uh, (sighs) yeah, it. Long story short, she does. She makes decisions which I think Steph and I like, or at least I definitely disagree with. I'm like, I don't think that's gonna help you. I actually think that's bad for you, but (laughs) that's on you. You do you. Um, Oh. And so, in the aftermath of the pandemic, she basically just kept like isolating. And so, Mm -hmm. like, I think it's an open question whether she's left the house. And, uh, like to date, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, and uh, so it's kind of sad. Probably not healthy, but um, she's also not the type to uh, want your opinion on things. So. I see. Yeah. But yeah, I <laughs> I will always remember, like, Lauren lives right next to me. And so Lauren just, like, complained one night that she was like, oh, I've learned so much about, like, Keely's, like, dildos. Because apparently uh, she would pick up uh, the mail for Keely occasionally. 
Oh, I see. Because she lives next to the store, right? And it's like, oh, look, dildo. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you'd stop to talk, and, uh, I mean... <laughs> if, you're, <laughs> if you're at home, all alone, like, you might talk about what you're, what you're doing that day, I suppose. <laughs> Yes. Of course, of course. I mean, it makes sense to me. Well, I will say the Ooh. slut dragon uh, Is this good one? from uh, Rick and Morty was like. Hmm. Oh. Have you seen that episode? Are you familiar with it? Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, it made me laugh so hard when I first. <laughs> I I actually found well I have a uh, not complicated certainly by any stretch but like I'm I don't love that episode <laughs> it's silly and I think I would leave it at that <laughs> I love like the best thing about Jon Stewart coming back to the Daily Show is we got more of the I love Trevor Noah's sense of humor, but like I, I really missed the dumb nonsense um, that Jon Stewart was so good at. And that, strangely enough, his podcast had none of. Like, <laughs> I think it was the problem that Jon Stewart was actually unlistenable to. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what brings you here? Here is Grace be with you. Oh, geez, how do I do this? Yeah, you doing more Baldur's Gate? No. I'm playing. I picked up Bellatro, that game Andrew was talking about. Which is basically What's... poker roguelike. Ooh. I'm, whoa, what is this? So here, I'll stream it on Discord if you want to watch. That sounds very interesting. That sounds very interesting. <laughs> you you piqued my interest. <laughs> alright, so alright, I'm streaming if you want to watch. Yeah. I'm streaming and I'm going to be turning on and watching. All right, so basically the idea is you start off with a normal, like, you know, poker deck. Mm -hmm. And you play through a number of rounds with... You play... Oh, hello. Oh, uh, what's up, hello. dude? Hey, Andrew. I'm explaining Elatro, oh, which I believe you've already actually kind of explained before. Because I yeah. just started playing today. Yep, and you're not going to stop playing for the, next, for the rest of the month, so good luck to you. Probably. But yeah, so like you start with a regular poker deck and then like at the end of each round you can like use whatever money you've accrued to like, buy packs which either like improve the payouts for certain poker hands you're making, add cards to your deck, improve the cards to your deck, get one of these jokers, get well, I guess Arcana also are just ways of improving the cards in your deck. Or like improving them, removing them, changing their suits, whatever. And the idea is you're trying, every single round you're trying to like get, um, hit some target score when you only have a certain number of hands you're allowed to make and a certain number of times you're allowed to discard and replace cards in your hand hmm. okay and then there are boss rounds that impose like various things like various constraints like oh you can't sure discard or you know all your clubs are disabled they don't give points they don't have abilities they can be used sure. to make hands but they don't contribute point values so right now so right now i need to hit twelve thousand. This boss makes it so that I have no discards. Um, I'm going to start with a flush. You there, help me. All right, that was pretty good. Keep 
them off me. <laughs> this just makes me want to think about Doomtown. I can't. No, no, stop. Just stop, Steven. Just stop. Don't, don't think about it. See, and then sometimes, you know, you can take a card and turn it into a dude, but sometimes <laughs> they're bullets. But bullets don't go in guns, bullets go to Boot Hill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I don't even know what I'm saying no more. I don't I no. didn't know what I was saying to begin with. That actually, no, actually sounds that accurate. Was, that was a pretty accurate uh, description of the oh gameplay, God. frankly enough. Oh I'm, my I'm actually kind of impressed. I feel like you're ready to play. <laughs> I am a professional you know this reminds me of, player. Do, do you guys remember the episode on from Community with the uh, video board game? Yeah. <laughs> hmm? Wait, what is this? It's a... Uh, Oh my god, what was the game that they were... What was the game they were playing? Uh, it's the remember. one with Pierce's, like, Pierce made, right? No, 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 It's, uh... Oh. Pile of bullets. <laughs> Pile of bullets. <laughs> Of a card. They, they play a VCR board game, it's the worst. <laughs> saying it's not good. <laughs> no, I'm saying it's actually right up your alley, Steve. <laughs> so, um, unfortunately, this game is perfect for the Steam Deck. Um, oh, Bellatro? Yeah. Yeah, it is. So you've lost, uh... you've lost a lot of time to this. <laughs> yeah, there, was, there were a few too many times this last week where I'm like, hey, I have 20 minutes between meetings. I'm just going to pick this up right quick. And then I realize that I'm sitting here during the meeting. I haven't listened to a single fucking word. So I'm still playing my my rounds here, you know. <laughs> like, like the game goes by so fast, and it's pretty. It's so easy to pick up. Yeah, it's it's. I'm extremely impressed with how well designed this game is. Yeah, it's good. I'll have to play it because I'm. Yeah, I'm definitely. Gonna, what's it called? Well, I already. I, I'm already ready to pick it up. <laughs> I've I just finished it earlier, but everyone was like, ah, oh, Street Fighter, hit people in the face in a virtual arena. So I just well, stopped I mean, talking to that. I mean, hitting I mean, people is fun. I mean, you can't deny I mean, yeah, that it isn't. Maybe Street Fighter is one, is like one of the best games of the year from last year, but this year is all about Bellatro. <laughs> You're not this wrong. Year, this year is all about Bellatro. Well, no, it's that is correct. my dominance. If it I'm is playing Street Fighter. <laughs> it, the, the game says the game says it's the it's a hypnotically satisfying deck builder. It's a hundred percent accurate. Yeah, that seems about right. I think that's so interesting. Like, I, I'll have to check it out because All right. I, I and add it to my cart. <laughs> I've always been interested ever since, uh, for, oh, for like a long time now, for the last boys. couple of years. In what? A, yeah. A poker, like using poker or like traditional card mechanics in, we'll call them, uh, artisanal, uh, board or video games. Um, but it, it seems hard to do. So I'm interested in how they went about it. Um, so to my shame, um, I added this game to my library on the 21st. As of right now, I have 58.8 hours in this game. Wow. So um, the 21st. Now, yes, the 21st. So. Wow, uh, indeed. <laughs> I, I don't know. That sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's um to be slightly fair to me, um, I will put it down sometimes. And be like, I'm gonna do work, clickety clack. That's the you know noise I use when I, I work. Right. That, that, that's, that's the noise that makes when I when I work. Okay, then, if you say so. <laughs> then, All right, you know, buddy. 
Tell me how you sound. I look fun. Ask any programmer; they all clickety clack. I'm I'm not I mean, weird. Okay, you you are not wrong. That that is the job. <laughs> clickety Anybody clack, don't come back. <laughs> like like Elon Musk just oh, comes so over funny. and like yells at somebody, and everyone just turns their desk and starts going clickety clack. <laughs> <laughs> Quick clickities, <laughs> and possibly clackities. Hey, get the clickities and clackities going. Also, the, the mechanical keyboard with the, the the other keys, the ones that are even louder, and just bam, hit them, you know, or just play an MP3 of, of, of exactly, play an MP3 of that. Yep, that's how you know the programmers are really hard at work. It just occurred to me that he's going to make a really great Scrooge. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good like, point. I want to see a TV show. <laughs> Do like a Christmas episode where Elon Musk is the Scrooge. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, for 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 the director, they just invite him on set and say, so "Hey, just um, improvise. Go ahead. Here, this oh, orphan's gonna ask you for yeah, money. Go ahead. Let's see what happens." Hand play. <laughs> you know, and when when Elon comes around, um, while we're at work. Everyone is here talking about, oh boy, I put down 300 lines of code yesterday. How about you, friends? I put down 500. Oh boy, you really are, you know, crunching those paradigms. Nice job. <laughs> nice job. Uh, those paradigms. Generating market share value. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the investors are impressed with Elon's latest performances. I am. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> Very much so. Total cell column. Ooh, I can get some money. Alternatively, I think it'll be great if we find out he really did build the glass house with uh, <laughs> company funds. Mm -hmm. That would be good. I mean, how much funds could it possibly be? <laughs> it's still a glass <laughs> house. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, he literally talked about how it was cheap. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Like, I, 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 he's de it, it's definitely one of those cases where the more I find out, the more I'm just like, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, what even are you? Who <laughs> even are you? Like, oh, you are off. Why would you think oh. that you would want to do those things? All spade cards. Well. I only got seven of them. Ooh, ooh, oh! Oh my God, what what is happening, Stephen? Hmm? You're going like ooh. ooh. It's like <laughs> you're strange. Strange. Shiny drop. something strange is going on over there. Something shiny drop. Ah, I see. It, it could be a unique item. It could be a bad <laughs> dragon dildo. <laughs> I mean, you never know, right? You really Speaking never know. Which, that's the weirdest thing about this game is why, why do the like? Um, why do they have dragon dildos in this game? Who knows? Yeah, like, why? Why do the idols uh, look kind of like a dildo? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that either way, I, either way, big fan. <laughs> <laughs> Well, to be fair, like, um, this guy looks like, like, these look like the most ancient and really rough, like, dildos and or, like, oh, I, I like my dildos dogs. rough, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, wow, in the Stone Age, life was tough. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was definitely tough. <laughs> I would not have wanted to go through that. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, yeah, why not? Let's play the game show. <laughs> the Inquisition. Kinky or torture? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Playing, Mike. Aki. I'm kind of surprised Just for I wouldn't have you thought you would have enjoyed Aki. I've been playing Aki. You know that, right? No, no, no. I, I just, like, in general, I wouldn't have thought you would have enjoyed playing Aki. Not that you you, you don't or that you haven't been. I wouldn't have right, right, right. Oh, yeah. She's, uh, she's fun. She has some weird pattern. She also is, like... Exceedingly hard to play. <laughs> okay, you, play you, you played Ivy. Of course, you'd go for Rocky. <laughs> That's fair, although I don't think I could honestly anything I did at caliber playing. I could. I would say that I played Soul Caliber for funsies and only really played Astaroth. <laughs> Astaroth was a lot of fun. Like that was a great character. Man, so okay, we're just evaporating. It's gone. No, it's still. Yeah. They, I mean, six was gone. the last one. Yep. And that was like five years ago, right? Or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Oh, really? That's yeah, the most recent seen. one? Oh. Six is the last one for sure. I, I think it definitely oh. was a little. I don't think. I remember. Oh, I, go ahead. I, I think it was like so. I don't think the making your own character was as compelling as as they hoped. hoped. Mm. Um, but I, I I haven't played enough of the game, and I wasn't playing a lot of games during the time uh, those came out. Ooh. I did play like So Calibur Four, and I was shocked how like much less compelling it was mm. than Soul Calibur Two. I I don't know why Soul Calibur Two just feels right. <laughs> Where I remember, I remember going stop sidestepping me. <laughs> That's all I knew how I, to do. I, I want to attack you. <laughs> Cervantes had an awesome sidestep, stab you on the side. <laughs> it's not fair that you use all the dimensions this game allows you. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so confused what this guy is doing. Oh dear. I don't think I'll be able to do this.
To the abyss? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen the entire movie. What is that? I've never heard of that one. It's an old James Cameron movie. Um, it's about going to the bottom of the sea because, you know, he doesn't have a thing about that. Um, no, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> never heard about it. <laughs> um. Oh. He's like space and underwater. <laughs> like those are where I want to be. Also, the future, but not where the robots are. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> robots with human skin. That's not where we want to go. <laughs> yeah, we gotta stop those guys. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, yeah. like, I forget what the actual plot is. But basically, you know what's a plot? It, yeah, there's a plot. <laughs> you have to obtain the unobtainium, right? Is that what that was? Did I miss oh. it? No. Oh, that was, that, that okay, was, I that see. Was okay. I will always remember that. The, a fucking unobtainium of all. I remember I watching that, that movie and going, just... "Wait, what the hell? Is it, did he really call it that?" <laughs> no, yeah, it. I couldn't believe that. He either. Absolutely that, fucking did. That, that was my thought. Thought as soon as I heard it, I'm like, "Did that?" Was that really just said? Like, <laughs> and the answer is yes. You know, I think it, it could have, they could have smoothed it over if they had someone in the movie saying, "Who in the hell named it that?" And they say, "Shut up, rookie! The smartest scientist in the world named it that. You'll be thankful that you even have your job." You know, like that's good, enough, right? Give us something. Yeah, that's that, that's how you that that's how you said? lampshade that because you have yeah, to. Because <laughs> good lord, you can't not. Oh, it's awful. Was well, we say that, but I haven't made a billion dollar movie yet, and somehow James Cameron has. I'm making that, so but clearly, you know, he know he knows it's better true. than all of us. <laughs> no, you're you're not wrong. James Cameron makes money hand over fist. Yeah, like the I the, the Avatar movies were. I I thought the first one was kind of interesting. The second one, I was really disappointed in. I was like. I haven't even seen the second one. It's the same. No, I'm not even first. not even close. Oh, water. <laughs> they're, the they're, they're, I'm not even like, joking. Like the first one wasn't good. I don't know why you'd care to watch the rest. <laughs> the I think the thing which upset me the most was um So both movies have this issue where it's like James can actually th this is how I, I would phrase it these days James Cameron and maybe back in the, the day also he's a very artistic driven um artist like his movies they they're shot well they have awesome scenes but the plot always feels very paint by numbers like yeah this is the hero he does this like um, um it's not paint by numbers it's like finger paint <laughs> <laughs> no but like that's how i would describe um avatar it's not that the avatar has a bad plot the issue yeah it, i mean no, the, because the it, they stole the plot from Pocahontas. It's a very stereotypical hero. It's journey. Pocahontas. Yep. Yeah, it, it's literally Pocahontas. They just well, stole Pocahontas. it from Pocahontas. Well, but the second one... Just straight up theft! <laughs> the second one is not Pocahontas. It's... it's he, he does everything by paint by numbers. Like, you've heard this story before. Um, and that's my... My complaint about it for the most part. 
Yeah, if it were, it, I have a similar criticism to some animes that I've seen where, mm-hmm. so when I watched um, Dragon Ball Z or even Bleach, I hadn't seen those things before in an anime because I haven't been obsessively watching anime. Mm-hmm. Um, but if I were to watch a shonen now and I'm pointing at all the things that I've seen a million times before, yeah. not that it's bad, it's just I don't want to see this for the 18th time. Yep. You know? Yep, right. Yeah, that it happens a lot in anime. Um, yeah. Oh, I don't think I'm making this one. Oh, well. I, I think my only problem with Bleach as a whole was the lack of character development. It's actually amazing that Ichigo Oof. did not change any, Oof, any of his arcs. <laughs> Other yeah. than getting new powers. Also, sympathy to um, Yang. Um, if everyone will just turn their attention to <laughs> the round score and then the score he was supposed to get. <laughs> 800 points short. Oh. Very close. This game's, and, and this you, game's you were rolling. Hard. Yeah. Uh, this, this deck was not great, honestly. Okay. I mean, it, it kind of came together a little bit eventually. Was it because Gosh, you didn't it. have enough dudes? <laughs> I mean, I kind of, you know, if I had just one more, if, maybe if I drew like Doc Holiday or something, it would have been a bit better. You probably needed more horses. Um. <laughs> oh, shit. You know, I ha- I actually didn't even think of that. <laughs> I mean, no wonder have I've been losing all this time. Fuck. <laughs> True story. <laughs> yeah, um, to, um, I agree with you, Unger, that it was like... Um, at the beginning, Ichigo wanted to save his friends, and in episode 456, he, he wants also to wanted to save I mean, yeah, you just want to keep saving your friends. I think the problem was he never didn't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you would have preferred it if he did not have friends? How yes. could he save friends? Well, think about it. <laughs> think about how could he save friends if he never had them. Um, I Ichigo would like to... Ichigo the most boring hero's journey. Ever. It Wait, starts who? out with episode Naruto one, or where he goes, Ichigo. I'm a hero. Ichigo. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I do want to point out, Mike, um, to, to what you said. The last arc's villain, or fake villain, that we were very scared of, his power was to take away Ichigo's friends. Do you remember that? <laughs> Wait, wasn't it? Yes. The, the fake bad forgot. guy... Huh? Well done. Remember the fake bad guy had a sword that if he stabbed you with it, he would alter your memories, and so what fake bad guy would do is stab, like, Orihime, and Orihime's like, oh, you're Ichigo, that kid from my class, hello, for the first time. And then there would be that musical oh. sting, and Ichigo looking stunned, and the camera pans up, right? Wait, when was this? I don't even remember this shit. It was, this was the awful, yeah. uh, what, what were they? The is this like a killer, killer arc or something? Arc. Yeah. Fullbringer. Yeah. And oh. so... This was after Aizen was beaten, and you'd think, okay, time to end this anime because we've done it, right? Yeah. No, because we have to have another arc after he's lost his Shinigami powers to have him regain his Shinigami powers because someone from Soul Society shows up and says, here's your powers back, Ichigo. Now go be Ichigo. But the fourth that arc was so much garbage. Like, <laughs> what is... <laughs> it, it, like, unbelievable. We... You don't, you know the who the villain is right away. Yeah. You know nothing yeah. about him. In the last episode, you find out that he used to be, um, a soul reaper. Yeah, he used to be uh, an Ichigo. Like that, yeah. that was his place. And then I, I don't know. He, Something he, like he lost, he lost the fate, so to speak. And I, then he lived in the human world, and he he got new friends, but new friends in the sense of we hate how the world is, and we're going to take over the world to make it different. And then the Shinigami, like, no, you're not. Oh, was this the, uh, was this the, like, the Shinigami who became kind of hollows or whatever? No. Nope. That was the Vizord. No. Nope. It, it, it's oh, much okay. worse. They, like, I'm not exaggerating. We don't ever run into them again. We don't speak of them. Like, <laughs> it, it was, it was, what if it was a filler arc but it was not filler yeah what if you made a filler arc for the manga (laughs) yeah 
like the entire like point people... is that Ichigo gets his powers back. Um, and even that doesn't make sense because do you know how he gets his powers back? The Shinigami just give him his powers back. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Like, uh, <laughs> uh, what? What? No it, I mean, it, 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 like, <laughs> The only, only thing that was worth anything was... But the thing is, we didn't even need this thing I'm about to say. So, in the beginning of the series, Rukia stabs him with the sword to give him Shinigami powers or level him or do something, whatever, right? However, yeah, it works. Yeah. something happens. <laughs> yes. Who and the so, fuck knows? So then Ichigo, he's like, I think he was like facing down the bad guys, but he's just a normal guy. So he's like, I can't do anything. If only I had my powers. And he gets stabbed in the back. And then he has, you know, the dramatic, like, who just stabbed me? Oh my God, I'm going to die. No, look, it's Rukia stabbing him again. But this time he's getting back his old powers from when I got beaten. And now it's going to be time to be number one. This is what you've been waiting for. All the other rest of the song, you know? It's oh it's the dumbest that thing. So it's like horrible. we didn't need so this. Dumb. Just make another anime. What, why? Anyway, this sounds so stupid. I'm not gonna lie. It, yeah, the, the, the answer is yeah. This, this is so dumb. Um, it was not a good season. And just the last thing I'll say about it was like to your point, Stephen. Like in the scale of things and the scope of things, these villains were nothing. Yeah. Like, they're regular humans who have slightly enhanced powers that can do weird things like, I can make my, I get more powerful the dirtier my boots get. Those are literally, <laughs> I'm not fucking around. That's literally what? her power. Huh? Her power is, the more dirty her boots are, the stronger she is. So, when she got her dirt, her boots really dirty, she was being the shit out of Ichigo. So, that was something. Um, this is the dumbest shit I ever done here heard. And some of the and powers other guy, he was also remembers he stabbed you. Yeah. Um, but like he only do it to make him your friend. So like, yeah. <laughs> wait, so, so like he stabs you and then you like him after that or something? Yes. Is that what which happens makes, here? Which makes him oh. dangerous because if you know he had the power of retcon. Like, that's actually his superpower. That's his superpower, so... Oh, okay. Let's say you're fighting him, and then he stabs you successfully. Now you're, like, conflicted about the person you're fighting, because it's like, I think I'm supposed to be fighting this person, but they're also my lifelong friend, so maybe I'll go easy on him, and he, and he, and he beats you, maybe. Yeah, but if the only thing he can actually manage to do is just make you his friend again, like, yeah. what the fuck do you care? Right, his brother it, showed the problem with that. He, he's like, I've seen. Or if you're some dickhead who's like, friend. "You're my friend. I don't care. I'll kill you anyway." Yes, that's exactly what happens. <laughs> yep. Give a shit. I'll fucking kill you even if you are my friend. Damn. Yep. He's like, yeah, he's like, I've always been oh, my friend. No. I'm gonna murder you now. And he's like, yeah. wow, that's really cold blooded. And he's like, and he's like I've yep, seen all your me. moves because I've been training with you all the time. He's like, okay, I'll do something new. <laughs> <laughs> Your power sucks. <laughs> I can make you my friend. Comes up against like somebody who just who's like just a stone cold sociopath. Yeah, like, my, well, my power no longer. Yeah, I have no friends, jerk. <laughs> yeah, what's his name? Just Vachitas him. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Like it, this to give them the power scaling. So these characters are on the power level of Ichigo's friends back during Soul Society arc. Yeah. So not. Yeah, exactly. This is after we had the the Earth, no, excuse me, the, the Soul Society shattering battle between Ichigo powered up like crazy through Deus Ex Machina and Aizen, <laughs> the guy who ate the Hyogoku and fucking manipulated everybody and is going to kill everybody. And we, he's going to so kill everybody. It. That's what he always does. Wait. And, and so, so after that battle, after the scales are that high, we're gonna go back to like chapter two in this book and be like, "Remember how humans can have some weird powers sometimes? Let's have an arc about that." Why? You, 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 yeah, you it makes sense to me. I don't know what. I don't know what to tell you. All things were mistaken the second they killed Bison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Everything was fine, oh, and they killed off Aizen. That's how this works. Oh, you, which one did you find out about? Raised Fist adds double the rank of the lowest card held in hand to Multiplier. Oh, I thought it was in the cards you play, not the cards you held. Yeah, so it's in the... this is actually a lot better. Oh, I that's actually... really fascinating. <clears throat> Three of a kind's too hard, though. Go away. Yeah. <laughs> at least for where I'm currently at. Oh, Half Joker's interesting. The last but... thing I'll say about it is I think Soraki fights an old man. He's Who's like, Soraki? Like Pachi. Pachi. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. the bartender. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bartender? Yeah, he, he fights the bartender slash old man time. Like, yep. his power is he can, like, manipulate time and, like, do broken stuff. Zoraki but only for himself. Him. Like, just one shots him. <laughs> I mean, yeah. isn't that how, like, Kenpachi beats everybody? He just fucking one-shots them? Yep. He's like, I'm really strong. Kabam. <laughs> and and, and like, then the they're like, okay. Like <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me, buddy. And it's like, yep, sure did. It just, like, I Andrew was 100% right. Like, they, I, I hadn't thought of it that way before, but they really were, like, let's return yeah. to <laughs> season one scaling. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um the the bartender guy his whole thing it, it was kind of funny that's how I, I remember it like he was like i manipulate time so i manipulated time and made it seem as though i trained for a thousand years and now i'm the peak physical manifestation of humanity <laughs> and then of course the rocky's like that's nothing i don't care dude that's, that's <laughs> like you're you're a i couldn't care less about this <laughs> <laughs> Your training is weak. I mean, yeah. I trained at 400 times gravity. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. What did you do, Goku? I stayed home and I ate cookies. <laughs> Don't kick well, you blame the man. Son. Cookies are delicious. Yeah. And then he still kicks the shit out of Vegeta because, of course, he does. Yeah. <laughs> I, I watched them um, Dragon Ball, uh, the Dragon Ball Superhero, which is the latest movie that came out for the show. R.I.P. R.I.P. Toriyama. Absolutely, yeah. very much so. Yes. Toriyama, yes. Um, I I liked that. I thought it was really funny that um, Gohan has more of a father son relationship with Piccolo <laughs> as an adult. <laughs> yep. Like when he meets someone to like watch his kid. Or, like, you know, do dad things when you're an adult, right? He calls Piccolo. He doesn't even care. His, his fifth eye looks that's dead. He doesn't really care. Like, nope. nope. Yep. He doesn't <laughs> care whatsoever. They even not reference it in the even show. Slightly. Not, not the abridged show, the actual show. Yes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> also, Piccolo's greatest power is. Close speed. <laughs> <laughs> yup. The ability to point and boom, you're in new clothes. <laughs> if he cared about money, he could be a millionaire. <laughs> yeah, he could sell those clothes that he that he passed off. <laughs> or he could he could be like a Uber or or um DoorDash like service where he just shows up. You know, hey, I know you need to change your clothes. Bam. Oh, that's true. That's I pretty see, fucking clever. I could see that's Piccolo sick. As an eccentric designer. <laughs> True, yeah. I want to see him on runway. <laughs> um also, uh Yang, so the banana um joker you have there, do you know its secret ability? Mm -mm. So at some point it's going to um disappear because you know the one in four mm -hmm. chance, right? Once I that mean, happens, a a yes. I mean assuming you get unlucky. Um, or lucky, yeah. as it would seem, because once it disappears, a new Joker enters the pool. And you can oh. only get this Joker for purchase or encounter if that disappears. Oh my. <clears throat> you got some interesting things here. Also, I read, I read negative too literally when I started playing this. I thought negative meant a bad thing, so I thought it would be taking away 
a Joker slot. Hmm? Oh, so, I see. Yeah, negative means oh, it's fuck. a free. I, I don't get to pick two of them. That's right. Uh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, I got plenty of money. Should I just buy this? Just in case. Yeah. Hmm. So I want odd hearts. High value odd hearts. Also, Mike, um, just just for the you know, I know we're recording this. I mean, we're, I know we're making making notes about this. Okay. Bleach has been mentioned again, so just mm -hmm. the Where rate of Bleach mentioned in our conversations <laughs> remains above sixty percent. I, I uh -huh. think it's easily above 80%. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> easily above 80%. Oh, jeez. It's insane how often it comes up. I didn't even <laughs> bring it up this time. I usually <laughs> I just bring it up because I... Oh, bleach. Fuck Why must you frustrate bleach. me? <laughs> there we go. Look, just be happy that Renji won a fight before the season or before the show ended. Right. Renji. <laughs> we weren't sure that was going to happen. I was surprised. True story. Oh, he's the guy who just keeps getting his ass beat. Actually, yeah, he was very To much... be fair, Rukia also won a fight, which I didn't think would happen. Oh. Yeah, she, she oh, had to win true. one fight in the middle of that, like. Uh, the um, Spanish name set. <laughs> Hueco Mundo? Yeah, the Hueco Mundo arc. She had to win yeah. one fight in the Hueco Mundo arc. Even the fight she won, because like, she tends to barely win fights or sack, like she like draws. Oh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. the Hueco Mundo fight, she only won by getting stabbed like in the chest and like dying, like almost. I don't know how a soul dies, but whatever. So she's Who's laying there dying in her bush. Who fucking knows? Yeah, Not me. Right. <laughs> she won a fight, and so they made her commander of the Soul Society. <laughs> no, it was the commander of her brother's squad. Oh, was it her brother's squad? I thought it was this yeah. entire Soul Society. No, Lazy Guy becomes commander. Oh, good for him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. This might So, um, I asked this with a great deal of caution. Who mm -hmm. is kept up with Boruto? I've never even no. started. Uh, okay, nope. well, um, the two I've of you who have said... Bit. I haven't kept up with it, so I'm way behind. I, I will say that the three of you have made um, positive choices in your life for... <laughs> <just answer. laughs> also, are you talking about the show or the manga? Well, I'm talking oh, both, I guess, but the manga. I, I, I read the... I read the last few chapters of the manga after skipping a whole bunch, and it's just... I mean, they're trying... It's a its a marketable property, so I understand mm -hmm. the corporate reason for this, but they need to stop. They need to stop it. Stop. They're not beating a dead horse. They have taken its its, its, its core. About that. Sounds like they kind of are. And, well, well, they actually aren't... See, they've gone beyond beating it. They've taken its rotting corpse, and they're parading it uh -huh. through town. And oh, that's not a very nice thing to do. Like, they really they should, should not be doing that. They they should just bury it. Please bury it, or, I mean, set it set set it a, a thousand years in the future or in the past. I don't know. But stop, because now, the like the all of ninjutsu comes from aliens. Oh, yeah. of course. Oh no, my banana. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, ninjutsu comes from aliens. 
And I don't um, don't no, I don't want to know anymore. I don't want to know anymore. Are you sure? For for great sadness, I don't want to know. Look, all I'm going to say, all I'm going to say, is the instant you started talking about Barto, my banana died. All right, that's all I want. To, that's all I'm going to say about this. It's a sign. The banana did not want to hear about this either. No, absolutely not. <laughs> uh, all just I've got to say money. is, like, yeah. we've got a lot of evening left. We can ruin your childhood, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is a good marker, or this is an excellent indictment of the series. There were like 12 or 13 Naruto games, right? There is a oh three quarters of a Boruto game because there was like a DLC a that added the characters from the first arc uh -huh. into the last Bar Naruto game. And that's it. There hasn't been like a Boruto Ultimate Ninja Generations 3. Like, there's no, we don't want to fucking play Barthol games fuck that no one wants uh, to do that it, it's telling that the oh, sure interesting don't. characters in Barto are characters that were interesting in Naruto yes <laughs> nobody cares about the main characters the supposed main characters and specifically the male characters because female characters are flander flanderized immediately just of course of course yeah. The one thing that they were known for in childhood is all they've ever done for their entire adult life, and you rely on knowing what they're all about, even in adulthood. It's great. I have to say, Sasuke is such a G in that manga. <laughs> he doesn't remember what his daughter looks like. Oh, I heard about that. His wife does doesn't Very remember lovely. what he looks yeah. like. And it is heavily implied that he used the Sharingan to just baby her up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that was a wild... <laughs> Andrew, do you know what this means? Um, a one in four chance to... Okay, that means when you play a hand, um, yeah. it'll go to like level two. So if you play a pair, it'll increase the level as if you used a planet. So, oh, like, that's what it means. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll pay five bucks for this. Why it's not? a good one. Um... There's also a Joker oh, that well, will in increase chances by one across the board. So, for example, if it's a one in four chance, it'll go to two and four. Yeah, so I saw, I've seen that one, but at the time I didn't have any chances, so I right, right. Love it. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep adding cards to my deck. Um. So, um, um anyone who doesn't want to hear up Naruto should should concentrate intensely. On their current task, because no, no, no. I'll, I'll listen because I find it hilarious. Uh, I'll, I'll ask um, Steven. Oh, no, I can't discard. Fuck. Uh, oh yeah, this fucking sucks. Yeah. Uh, what? Wait, have you heard of playing just a pair? The first wow. series is ending twist. Why we're now in a new series of Baruto? Oh, uh, no. Man. So at at the beginning of Baruto, there was this showdown between. Um, an older Boruto and um, a guy, Kawaki, and they were, you know, and Boruto had the slash through his headband and everything, and you're like, how'd this happen? Oh my god, right? Oh, I didn't even get that far. Damn. Yeah, well, that, this was like, this was the first few pages, but it's forgettable because you don't even know what it means, so. Oh, <laughs> like, so, they're, so they're, re, they're, re, they're saying that this is going to happen again. Okay, I get it. I get it. Okay, yes. Gotcha, gotcha. And so, um, Boruto is... Banished from the village, um, and why? Well, um, the, this guy Kawaki, who is the Sasuke surrogate, um, uh -huh. Uh -huh. he is, and he is like a regular guy who got um, the equivalent of cybernetics in Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, but ninja style. Like, oh, okay. Whatever cybernetics are in Ninja World, that's what he got. So now he's got these weird powers that you know the world saving ninjas of of naruto can't quite fight effectively because it's a new paradigm or something um sure. yeah it's, it, it, okay i really don't that that's one of the things which turned me off of the series is the a flush flush house? House? Okay. yeah it was like ninja tech or ninja i don't remember yeah. what it was called they they the the ideas in the new generation this ninja tech is really mm -hmm. powerful um 
Which is fine, I just don't enjoy it as a a thing. So, Same. Uh, um, I thought well, they, they were going to make it interesting, and I, I kind of feel like they made it worse. So. Yeah, I thought they were. I was hoping they were going to basically be like, "Hey, now that we have Ninja Tech, you can skip all the training you have to do by living in a ninja village and training since you were three to be a ninja. You can just put on this headset or arm, you know, this um glove and be a ninja, and then there would be consequences to that. That would have been kind of interesting, but no, it's just it's. Hey, I implant you with this, and now you have like you know Sharingan kind of. Um, or like alien powers, kind of. Um, and now, like one of the characters, and this is what this is what ends the arc. Mm -hmm. She has the ability to make anyone fall madly in like or love with her. Um, but she this can't is control. It. Oddly familiar. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but the problem is she can't control it. So. Um, she, everyone who's around her just does what she says and likes her. Even and they even know what's happening to them, but they just can't help it. Oh, okay. What the um, fuck is going on right now? <laughs> who the fuck knows? But the, so who then the she's in love. Know? She's in love with Kawaki, who is the Sasuke surrogate. So she's the Sakura surrogate, but she has insane power like this. She's also the Sakura surrogate because she's fucking useless as a person. <laughs> Well, at least Jujutsu Kaisen Sasuke or Sakura surrogate was actually useful. Well, that's good to oh, hear. Hey, there it is. Buy that. Buy it immediately. All right, so what should we get rid of? Probably... Oddly. Hmm. Jujutsu Kaisen, I quite like uh, the manga. Like, I have Probably to say Space they do Joker, a great right? job of, like... Or maybe the walkie-talkie? I will get rid of the walkie-talkie. Yeah, you're right. Um, Gents, could we have done a could we have done a record? <laughs> I'm I'm streaming right now. We basically are. <laughs> nice. Jumbo All right. Celestial pack. All right. um, no, but like, could we have done our our episode this? Week? Do an episode. <laughs> we probably could. Yeah. Um. I was gonna say this. I was gonna say um um the she 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 can't control it, and she's uh -huh. in love with Kawaki. Because so, um, she'll do whatever he says, basically. Um, and so, um, some shenanigans go down. Naruto saves the kids, Boruto and Kawaki and some other kid, um, from the big bad. Um, but okay. he oh, has yeah, to awesome. sacrifice Karama to do it. So he, for real this time, the Nine-Tailed Fox for is real, gone. Not for fake. Not for fake. For real, for real. Okay. Um, <laughs> and so, um, um, it was in this pocket dimension because, again, aliens are involved now, so That's it's all. What's a pocket it? dimension? <laughs> it's it's a new concept invented by manga. It's so cool, guys. Um, no, but um, it was so, invented by Boruto, actually. Yes, the author of Boruto is a revisionary who has it's a ideas. revisionary. Revision <laughs> <laughs> Revisionist in there. <laughs> um, so he goes. So this here, namely. So um, the problem is, is that um, he they can't get him out of the pocket dimension because um, something something he's gonna die. So he has to stay in the pocket. Something dimension. something he's gonna die. That's a pretty good, yeah. accurate description. I'm, I, I support. You. Um, so I love it. I fucking love it. So they emerge. Something, <laughs> something, something dark side. Yes. So they emerge oh, from the pocket dimension. The kids do. Um, Baruto and Kawaki. And so, um. They, no one, like, they don't. Only people who know that he's still in there are those two right now, um, and they're looking for the Hokage. Of course they are. And, and um, Ida, that's the name of the of Sakura surrogate. She she catches up with um, with Kawaki, 
And he, he's something, he basically says, man, I wish I were Baruto because he has a dad who loves him and, and, and like, you know, people in the village love him and I'm just a loner who everyone kind of hates and they're going to blame me for his death because he came to save me. So then Ida, she suddenly can control her power for a second and she makes the entire world. How convenient. Yes. So she, 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 and she's like, oh, you wish for to be Baruto. Well, now the world thinks that you are Kawaki, um, um, Uzumaki, and Baruto is the guy who came to the village and is a loner. And then so Kawaki's like, great, let me get on the walkie talkie. Hey, everybody, um, Boruto killed the seventh Hokage. Like, he's the bad guy. Everyone go after him. And then so everyone. Boruto fucking sucks. Also, so, the power scaling in this manga starts out at 11. Like, that, that was the hardest thing for me. Is yes! The kids it, it starts are as... literally, like, on former Hokage level. <laughs> yeah, they have to be because <laughs> the enemies are aliens. Who are like either the descendants or the comrades of the last final boss from Naruto? Oh, oh. so they have to have like the power to, um, like the make everyone stuff. love you, or the power to like regrow yourself from a single cell or some crazy shit like that. Wait, what um, the fuck? Yeah, it's 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 weird oh. stuff. I keep, um, keep in mind the girl just did a jutsu to the entire village. Which, like, was a big run. Like, that's the theme of the entire series. <laughs> like, she just did that. The, the original, the entire original series, she just did that on a whim. <laughs> like... Actually, sorry, and, and, and this is to correct you a little bit. The entire world, because Naruto is world famous now, because he's obviously, you oh know, he saved so the world. So she really, oh, oh, I was underplaying her. So she yes. actually just did the infinite Tsukiyomi. <laughs> yes, because she really? likes him really, and he wished for some <laughs> stupid shit. Oh, and by the way, he wished for it he didn't like grab her hands and be like, you know, I just wish so badly with tears in my eyes. No, he's just like, man, I wish I were like Baruto. And then she's like, bam, I just made you like Baruto. Like, now you are. are. Congratulations. Yeah. Good job. And also, I can't you undo it. it. Now I don't control my powers again. Sorry. Ugh, you, you're really uh... making me like. My favorite thing about Baruto was definitely Sasuke. Um, and the lead up to like. Um, whatever uh, <sighs> Sasuke's daughter trying to find him like that that yeah. the funniest like semi darkest <laughs> storyline <laughs> it's so it's so great and they, tr they uh, her parents in this respect treat her so badly because she finds a picture of that chick that was with Sasuke during his runaway arc <laughs> And then she's oh, like, geez. that must be my real mother. That's why my my that's why Sakura slash my mom won't tell me about him because I must be didn't take Oh my goodness. You know, that chick's my real mom. So then she tracks her down and she's like, No, I'm not your real mom. What are you talking about? Why don't your parents tell you anything? What the fuck are you? Your parents tell you anything. She's like, I'm this working in Orochimaru's like underground lab. I'm um, congrats on finding me, but I don't know who the fuck you are. I remember Sasuke. He's an <laughs> asshole. I still kind of like him, but he's an asshole. I mean, he is. Yeah, you, you're right. Well, you're right. You're right. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just say again. Um, there have been no Boruto games. There has been like a DLC or like half a game that featured the characters, and that's been it. Because that's all they deserve. That actually might be too much. They can really Accurate. do right. Yeah. Well, they could, like, in theory they could have been like, oh, you know, here's the big bad from the second arc of Baruto. He can like possess Nero Baruto sometimes because he's embedded in his soul now. So, you know, why not? <laughs> a, a game about Baruto fighting the evil guy inside of him just like his dad had an evil guy inside of him this is an original concept no no that didn't sound really good <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't uh, sound really I, I don't think so i sense doubt in you <laughs> cool. 
if you heard sarcasm in my voice, that was just your imagination. Come on, guys. <laughs> Nothing but sincere appreciation for Naruto, but with a B instead. Like when the, when the series first came out, it actually, I had to, like, I had to read it about. I had to read an interview about the series because I couldn't, like, internalize. They took Naruto and changed N A to B O and said, "Let's go with it." Like, why? He can't. That, that his, was, isn't that how you name children? Apparently, yeah, clearly, as the only person who has a child here. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna name that how you first... named your kid. Ball Mike? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna name my, my name first kid my Andrew. Name is, my name, kid's name is Like. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh. I'm naming my first kid Andrew. I don't care what gender they are. I don't care if it doesn't matter. <laughs> that's gold. I think that's gold. <laughs> I mean, Andrew. Thank you. <laughs> my kid's name will be Fred. <laughs> And that's how we got that character from Angel. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah, apparently it's it's because so there is there is a rationale behind it, but it still comes out stupid in my opinion. Mm -hmm. The idea is the fourth Okage was the the Flash or Yellow Flash or whatever yeah. the fuck, right? Yeah. Okay. So um naruto wanted to name him after his dad but don't name him you know mikage or whatever the guy's name was because that would be sensical name him bolt right oh lord have mercy yes yes lord that's have mercy is correct so maybe it sounds better in the original language like maybe it makes sense though it's it's supposed to be like a combination maybe, of bolt yeah. and naruto so it's bolt boruto yeah, that's yeah. that's it Maybe, maybe that's okay. Maybe it just sounds better in the original language. Yeah, I am saying it in the most American way possible. Maybe it's uh, yeah, but still, like, like maybe it's still pretty awful. I, I don't know about that, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't think. I don't think it does. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will confess to my my Americanness in the sense that um, um, the the. So, first of all, just to point to again, this series is hate. I uh, hate this series is dismissal of female characters. At the beginning, you think, okay, clearly um, Sasuke's daughter is going to be the Sasuke surrogate, even if her personality is a bit different, right? Um, no, she's discarded for the edgy guy as mentioned earlier, who wishes he was Boruto. So, instead of having the obvious like three people to be the surrogates for the new you know the new three people that are important you have some kid from out of town a transfer student so to speak <laughs> yeah. be the new okay. sasuke okay. because the female sasuke would be a female sasuke which would be garbage right yeah of course so but anyway also on her name her name is sarada and i'm just like as an american i just hear you saying salad is her name salad <laughs> I mean, they might be using the naming convention from DBZ. You never know. That's true. And that would be great. That would be fine. But this is the mm -hmm. first, like, vegetable-related person in the series that I can hear. So, like, I mean, I just have to think, and this goes on what you were saying earlier, Stephen. Um, if you imagine the conversation between Sakura and Sasuke about naming their child, and instead of hearing, what should we name our firstborn child, love of our life, he hears, what do you want for lunch? <laughs> oh, dear. I, I, now I'm 100% I'm on board. This sounds like apropos for uh, Sasuke. Yeah. <laughs> he like, makes Goku look like dad of the year. Like, <laughs> oh, man. He, he truly is a terrible. So oh, horrible. In fact, I w and this actually would make an interesting yet somewhat comedic miniseries. Sakura has to go to the ends of the earth to track him down to ask him this question. Oh my goodness. And so he and she manages to ask him the question before he yet again disappears. And she's like, the last thing he said to me was salad. That's going to have to be her name because 
Like, oh I can't God. reach him anymore again. Yet I'm still madly in love with him because I'm a, a female character in the Naruto series. She yeah, why are they all favorite. so in love? <laughs> with this dickhead. dickhead. Character in mm. all of, like, literature. Like, I've never... Ugh. Ugh. She truly is the worst character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She and they... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's real not good. She may be. She, she's the, the character I have. Well... Orihime gives her a pretty good run for money, though. Uh, and Bleach is back. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. Orihime is... Well, I, I guess my issue with um, Orihime is she's not a real character. Like, um... Well, for half the for half the time, she's a... Yeah, she's, yeah, she's you, a plot just... device in a shonen. Okay. Like, my problem with Sakura is they don't treat her like a plot device. Which is surreal because she's just the worst. Like, yeah, they treat her like she's supposed to. We're all supposed to take her super seriously. Yeah, it's true. Which, um, it, it, no, you, you know, like it, it, it's it's what's unfortunate because they they set the author set this all up himself, so you didn't have to have this dynamic. But he set up this thing early that you know ninja ninja teams are groups of three. You know, you have the three sanin, right? So three ninjas. Yeah. That's how we do things. But so it sounds like she, they were like, "Hey, we're Naruto and Sasuke. We're awesome. We need a third person, or otherwise we don't have a ninja group." So I guess you're it, random pink-haired girl. That's what you would think going backwards. What happened? Like <laughs> she's not like like it's just why are you here? I mean, <laughs> I think Naruto and Sasuke have it covered. I mean, I don't know why you're. Here. I mean, you're here. That's nice, I suppose. You. I mean, not... yeah, they do have the Superman problem, where... Yeah. We don't need you here, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> um, Aquaman, what, what are you even here for? Like, everyone on this team can go underwater. <laughs> even yeah, Batman that, can go that, underwater with a sub. <laughs> that has never been a problem for anybody. <laughs> Hooray, a particular that. issue in the Justice oh. League. <laughs> when was there a time when we failed to get in? The no one have, has ever at like like Superman can literally move the Earth. <laughs> yep, he's done it multiple times. Do you know who he doesn't need? Aquaman. <laughs> yeah, Aquaman can punch people in air, in the land, and water. Wow! Hot hey, damn! <laughs> if you need witnesses to a crime that happened underwater, you can't call Batman for that. That's true. That's true. <laughs> also, congrats, Yang! You did it. You won, and that's the one of the best jokers right there. Oh, I, I can imagine. Don't run with the crystal ball. <laughs> also, um, so Sakura. Is the Murano of um, Naruto? Who's Murano? Um, if you ever watch, there's there's a there's a web, there's an anime called Parasite: The Maxim. I have not watched. Oh, Murano, yeah, Mur yeah. Do I feel like Murano's worse? I don't think she's worse, but she is the worst of that show. And <laughs> like, oh, God, Murano. In a in a in a in an anime or in a in a in a, in a um, story that has so many great characters, like she even is worse than the girl who is so teenage girl that she walked into her death. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, that girl. That girl was a t that girl was a teenager. Yeah, she was. That, if that there was girl, a person who was in a horror film, it was her. <laughs> <laughs> that girl didn't even last. I think he last maybe she didn't last very long, but no, she remained like better. Episodes, two episodes. It was yeah, it was two episodes. But like, if you were to chart like the 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 character's approval rating for, of the audience throughout the series, like her line was flat from like that episode to the end because she's dead. Yet she still remained <laughs> above Murano. Uh... 
Oh, jeez. Her, her popularity was the same before she was introduced as it was after. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, the, the still living female lead remains under the, the, the girl that passes away. Like, that's not good news for her. <laughs> so, you want to know what's surreal to me? Mm. Mm. Is everyone familiar with the True Blood slash Sookie Stackhouse novels? Slash yes, I, just, well, I, I watched know, those the novels. I know I watched the show for a couple seasons. Okay. Same. I think we watched this together at World Village or something. Right. Yep. So the show is markedly better just in a lot continue. of ways than the books. Mm. The books are really impressive because from a literary analysis perspective, they are the most sexist thing I've ever read. Like, <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, Suki is not special, nor does she have any redeeming qualities. Every Ooh. book is solved by whoever she's sleeping with. <laughs> oh, God! In that book. <laughs> oh, well... Uh huh. I'm, I'm not even kidding. What a horrible destiny to have for your life. <laughs> like for reals. She she just starts sleeping with supernatural people because she can't read their minds. Um, oh yeah. And and that's a big plot point. She's like, wow, you're supernatural, so I can't read your mind. That feels so good. So that's her in. They like her for various reasons. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. and <laughs> I, I, I read up to book five cause they're fun. They're, they're like, they're like summer reading. They're like light reading. Yep. Um, and they can be fun in that way, but it was around book five when it looked like they were gearing up for her next romantic, uh, interest who was going to be mm -hmm. a were tiger. What? <laughs> of course, of course. You know, uh, as you do. She had not solved a single issue. And in some books, had not made a choice. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, Wowzers. And I'm like, it's one of those things where you're like, oh, well, this is just a bad, bad take on the author. And then you're like, like Charlene Harris, like why do you treat your character this way? <laughs> like I, I've never, I've, I, I don't think I've ever read a book with so little character autonomy. Like, are it, are you it, tired it, of protagonists with agency? Well, <laughs> have we got the book for you? I, I'm. Th there's one book where she gets kidnapped by um by by like cultists who want to sacrifice her um i that particular book i don't think she made a choice the entire like 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 for two two three hundred pages things just happened to her <laughs> Jeez. Nice. No choices were made. Very I, nice. I, I was just like, I'm I'm impressed. I didn't I didn't think you could write that. <laughs> <laughs> it was her Cueco Mundo arc, but you were reading the look from Rahame's or Hime's point of view. That's all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean Orihime, I'm not again, I'm less offended by Orihime just because like she she really is a MacGuffin. Like that's she who is. she is as a person. Yeah. Um, I mean, they want me to think of her. Want me to think of her. They want you to <laughs> think of her as a pair of boobs, but <laughs> yes, you're not wrong. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> McGuffins. Oh, because okay. they even like, like uh, yeah, I don't know what to make of Bleach. Like a lot of things, I don't understand about Bleach. I've never been a huge fan. Yeah, but no, uh, I will always remember. No, no, no. Nice. Yeah. That said, the books are pretty fun, and um, I 
get. I, I, I would recommend Patricia Briggs. I, there's other things which, like, read the same. Like, they, mm. they scratch the same itch. And, like, um... Oh, God. The Patricia Briggs novels I are, got like, fun. just top of the class. Like, great character. Okay. Like, a lot of fun. Um, same tropes. Like... And I, I feel like, for whatever reason... I am. Oh. I got greedy. <laughs> You threw away those multi cards, and I'm like, I hope you know what you're doing. Oh. So I was banking on getting a nine or a ten because I mm. still have like three nines and three tens in there. Mm -hmm. With the confidence that if I don't get one, there's a pretty high chance I can get some pretty good hearts because my deck is like 85% hearts. Right, right. Um, Except I just kept getting like the non hearts and yep. like a few multis here and there and then finally like some of the small ones so yeah, i was I just kind of eh. i saw that where like yeah i mean i, I saw your strategy that was the right thing to do in that sense but like yeah, yeah um, kind of hard although it, for me it's not as hard as the pillar because sometimes you can really fuck yourself with that one um, for me, I mean, with my luck, I'll be like, I want everything to be clubs. And then I'll be like, oh, this thing defaults clubs. So good luck, dude. <laughs> huh. uh, so, yep. Which means that every, you know, when you debuff a card in this game, um, it doesn't do anything yep. at all. It can be a part of a hand, but no better. Nothing else. Yep. No it doesn't points, mean. no mechanics, nothing. So, yeah. Anyway, so, sorry um, to have interrupted you, Steven. Um, oh, um, I was... I was... I was over. Okay. I was concentrating on... Uh, These are all magic. suck. <laughs> Man, um, I... They're all terrible. So, oh, what? Oh. How much money do you have? Oh, you have 11? Uh -huh. Evening, what's up, Mr. Chuck? Also, um, there's no penalty in this um, roguelike. To restarting a new run, so don't if you just don't get yeah. a good start, just do it. It's not like Slay the Spire where if you start restart too early, the whale's like seriously. Yep, you're here. <laughs> get back, get the get your ass back in there. Yep, fuck on out of here. That seems to be a thing a lot of roguelikes do. Um, they, they will um, like penalize you if you just restart too early. Yeah, which makes sense. They don't want you to be like. Just fishing for a good run. Yep. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, jeez. This hand sucks. This hand fucking stinks. Guess I yeah. could try to go for a flush. Yeah, let's try going for a flush. So I spent the morning um, doing something silly that I knew was silly, and it wasn't harmful, so I was fine, but... Um, I, a, a game came out yesterday, um, a strategy game, kind of like Tactics Ogre. I like those kind of games. Um, but they, it isn't coming out on PC. It's only coming out on Switch and PS5. Hmm, okay. And okay. so I'm like, I want to play it on my Steam Deck. That's the only way I'm going to play it. I want no other way of playing it. That's <laughs> it. Um, I played a demo on the Switch. It was a very good game. So, nice. um... I spent the morning refreshing on certain sites of unofficial means, and I finally got it at like 2 p.m. And then I downloaded it, and then I put it on my Steam Deck, and I haven't touched it since. <laughs> that sounds about right. Yes, it, it's like the point was having the data. Apparently, the point wasn't playing because as soon as I had the thing downloaded, it's like, all right, I got other things to do, I guess. Like, oh, so now that I have this thing I was just over for the last day and a half. Now it doesn't matter. That's my brain, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's my brain. <laughs> mm. Now it is time to lose. Uh oh. No, fuck! Ah! <laughs> well, I meant me, but, um. Yeah. I, I really did not mean to uh, make you lose, Mike. <laughs> I don't was, think he um, made me lose. 
but I did lose. <laughs> All right, here we go. Watch. Yep, there's your 300. Oh, oh, I could have actually done a full house, too. Oh, well, oh, doesn't matter. I appreciate mm -hmm. you, Mike. I appreciate the fact that only you can make you lose. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, this is all me. Ooh. What clubs do I have? Oh, my God, you really went for it. Oh, my all God. Right. You're becoming a club stuck. duck. You're going clubbing, Yang. I'm going clubbing. Alright, I have to play this game after you guys. <laughs> I'm trying to get. I'm I'm so close. Mm -hmm. So close to what? I'm I'm like pretty close to getting Aki to die. Ooh, oh, gotcha. nice. I thought you were gonna say uh, masters or whatever. Like, Andrew, oh, no, no yeah. we're not there yet. Do I want the boat or do I oh. want the mystery box? Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay. The mystery box so... could be anything. <laughs> okay. To be fair, the high, like the mystery box has potentially higher value. Actually, and so you you can choose two. Definitely take the mystery box. Oh, right I can now. choose two. I forgot. Yeah, I can take mystery box. Right. You can apply it immediately. Yep. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty decent. Don't use temperance yet. We until you have five jokers. Yeah. Um, so I could use strength. Yep. Turn this into a queen. And you could turn these small ones into a queen. Yeah. Or you, so since you're, if you're doing a focus on clubs, you can turn that turn something else into a jack. The jack of clubs there, you can duplicate turn that. Them both into well. Or better yet, sorry, I mean, before, it does um, the same thing, right? Um. So Rofin doesn't really do. Four player version of this game. <laughs> four We're all yelling player. about about um, our hands and whatnot. Yeah. Oh. I mean we could have like a race or like, you know, because you can actually set a set the seed you're using, so we can all set the same seed and see how we do. Oh uh, yeah, that is true. Um I wish one of these was flush. Whoa. Let's have low roll protection. Ah, uh, brutal. Right All mm -hmm. right. Come on. We have two pair. Two pair. What the what fuck? The fuck? Yeah, I think that's fine. So yeah, in order of wackiness, um, planet cards are base wacky, um, yep. and tarot cards are medium wacky, and spectral are maximum wacky. Yep, yep. Um, I got insanely lucky. Um, I used a spectral card that turns all of them into the same number in, in the hand. But Wait, it's a, why? It's a, yeah, there's one that will turn every card in hand into the same rank, but you lose one hand size for the rest of the run. Oh, um, I got very okay. fortunate, and I got all eights. So um, Fibonacci, yes. I was able to use Fibonacci to great effect in that because I would have <laughs> a five of a kind of eights, with Fibonacci going, they're all the mm -hmm. same. Like four of them are all clubs or whatever they would be. Like um, that was a good run. Nice. Also, I had a run 
um, that was memorable because I was playing against the the psychic bind, um, blind, um, and so I only needed a three, uh, uh, um, a three of a kind to win because I was so close to the to the cap, but I forgot <laughs> that. Oh no! So I so I, I pressed the three so quickly and I hit play, and I'm like, and it said, "Oh, you need five cards to play. You lose." Because <laughs> oh, like, no. it, it, it only counts if you play five cards. It doesn't have to be five scoring cards. Any five cards you have yeah. to play. So I hit those three, thinking, "Yep, it's in the bag." And then the game over. Then like, it was not in the bag at all. <laughs> no bags were had. In fact, I, I discovered the bag was way over there, and I had just dropped <laughs> my eggs. So uh. my eggs were were not count were counted before they hatched. Um, they were I not in the past. Hatching eggs. You know, every <laughs> metaphor regarding eggs were broken, and so were the eggs themselves. And also, the bag wasn't there either. So, it was a disaster, man. Speaking of wacky. Oh my god. Oh hey, look at that. There it is. Yeah, that's the one. Single random rank. Yeah, it's random. Oh, okay. It might be safer to use Aura or the Red Seal. Red Seal's pretty good too. One selected. Do I get to choose which one it is? Yes. And same for Ooh. Deja Vu. So if I do Ouija, Ouija, mm -hmm. Ouija, whatever, mm -hmm. do they keep their same suit? Yes. Or is it a random suit? Okay. Yeah, the only thing changes is their rank. Oh my god! Come on! Oh. <sighs> Execution. Fuck it. Let's go. You got it! Nice. And now I have a dollar. <laughs> All spade cards are debuffed? Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> How many more kings do I have? I'm very short on kings. Sounds like a very woke deck to me. I'm just joking. You're not wrong. Feminisms oh. run rampant, man. Should I just go for the two, two pair right now? Um, or do I go for maximum greed? Um, I would, I would, hmm. Because it's 16. Oh, yeah, go for a two pair because you don't need like a whole lot of score right now. Because, yeah, the main thing is that, like, I want so the I guess the idea is that, like, I don't know, eventually you get like so, five of a kind. Yes, although make sure you don't play that three. Also, make sure you invoke the square um, joker you have. Oh, huh? the square joker, the top left one. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, so I would do that. The other thing is, if I get greedy, I can try to fish with four of a kind to build this, so, and then just try to like stack eights. You could, yes, you could. That's a good point. Um, but, so in that case, or I could do something a bit safer and just stack two pairs. I would go for two pair and see what you get. Yeah, you're right. You got a lot of eights. Yeah, you're already like a third of the way there. Lobs. Yeah, I would just toss that stuff. That's way too low rank. Or not toss it, but like, yeah, like play it, yeah, get rid of it. Yep. Yeah. I have plenty of hands, so it's fine. True. And you're making progress nice. regardless. You're only, yeah, you already won. You won. Just play the two pair right now. You're done. Yeah. You want to see if I can do weird winner. stuff. <laughs> True. That makes sense. Is there do you any have any things purple? I do? No, I don't have purple seals, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. What the fuck? Hooray. Nice. Give me that money, please. I'm so poor. <laughs> Also, I I have to shamefully admit this this game um, this game taught me the meaning of discard, and I'm not I'm being literal. 
I've always been saying discard so like you know colloquially. Blase. Yeah, blo- they, in such a perfect and in such a blase are way. All it, terrible. Yeah. Um. Well, the the heart the heart um double thing isn't too bad. Yeah. yeah it's not so bad. What do you mean by like it taught you the meaning of discard? I I didn't realize that discard was literally uncard because you're getting rid of the card. It's the opposite of card. You're you're uncarding that, that yourself. Is, that's, that's yes. <laughs> I didn't think about the fact that it's literally um, disc and card. Oh, oh, oh. I just I just Andrew, it was just discard. Uh, Andrew, I don't, I, uh, I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> because I say like discard, like discard, not, not discard, discard. <laughs> Andrew, you're you're building something, but uh, <laughs> I don't think it's something good. I didn't. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, it's discard. Oh, and I'm uh, like, Andrew, Andrew, I'm 36. <laughs> I'm 36. I've been playing card games since I was like 12. Oh god, Andrew! <laughs> Since I was twelve. Stop speaking, <laughs> Andrew. We are offering to take the shovel out of your hands. This is a proof, man. Just, Did you know this? You just keep going, Andrew. Andrew, creative. Are you? That's what we do. <laughs> so, I don't know why. The world has to be so difficult sometimes, but now I know what discard means. <laughs> yes, <laughs> correct. Why is life so tough? <laughs> Why do words have meanings that you don't uncover for 20 plus years? They're four of a kind. Despite you saying them regularly. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Four of a kind. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh, now this is questionable. Hmm. I would go for a flush. Yeah, yeah. you're probably already doing that. Yeah. Is there something better I can do? Do I have another? Uh, I do have another. Oh, I have two egg parts. And another. How is that too greedy? Um. Yeah. To get those, I mean, I would just play the play the thing because um, that is way too fucking greedy. Oh, it's level two anyway. I would, I would, I would do the flush, and I would. Well, what I was thinking of is going for like a flush house. I see. Which is. Yeah, you would have to get those other two eights of hearts to do that. Or the one remaining king, because I do have or, another or that. of hearts. Alright, we'll just do this, I guess. Ugh. Yeah. Also, Fine. look at its do list. <laughs> um, what are the to do list? I don't, I don't have full house. Full house is going to be tough-ish. Oh, we do have another two pair. <coughs> we still have three hands left. That's fine. Uh, I need to start getting planets, though. This is... This is a sign of a great game. Getting tough. I need a full house, but I also need planets. Yes. <laughs> I need planets for my two pairs. This is, this is not it. Walks into the game. Not sure what's going on here. Every played <laughs> card permanently gains plus four chips when... Yes. Yeah. Now you should use Temperance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. You don't... Sorry! Lose a dollar for... I'm going to go in debt. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Get rid of all these. Horrible thingies. I mean, you got a full house. house. I could give I mean... $5 to... <laughs> and lose it again. <laughs> I will be... At net zero. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's that see. used to be a company. You're right. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. I score before. All right. That's fine. Ooh, this is good right here. Yeah. How many aces do I have? Oh, I just have the normal number. Normal amount. Uh, I don't need discard yet since I'm just going to do this. Well, 
Okay. Yeah, so once I got one of the Jokers, that was all like, oh, you know, you get a plus one mult for every uh, tarot card you've ever played. Mm -hmm. I got early, so I hadn't played any tarot cards, and then I proceeded to never get another tarot yeah. card ever. Oof. Um, a good companion to that Joker is a Joker that gives you a tarot card every time you play a hand with less than $3. Three dollars or three. Yeah, cards. so uh, no, three dollars. Like if you if your amount of money you have is three dollars, three dollars or less, you get a tarot card. Oh, every time. I see. What you're Ooh, yeah, that one's good. But before you do that, I guess I get wait. Rid before of you do that, really before you do anything, the yeah. hermit. Look at the hermit. You are correct. Yeah. All right. So that's my new. Like, you are correct. I will look at the hermit. <laughs> Uh, I like all of these except for the to-do list, honestly. I agree with you there. Oh, by you. I'll, I'll just, oh, um... He's just... This is gonna sound bad, but I want a Uranus. <laughs> okay, Jupiter, Jupiter's pretty good, too. Gotta get those planets in Uranus. Uranus. <laughs> How many full health have I gotten? <laughs> we're children. We're, we're in our mid -third. We get to do that because we're grown-ups now. That's true. All right. Arcana, let's see what we get. I can get more money. Could. Turn things into clubs. Which or are... the mystery box. Bathes and clubs can... Oh, interesting. Or the mystery box. Now the question is... I think now I start actually cutting diamonds and hearts. Yeah, I would prefer I would prioritize diamonds. So nano spoilers is diamonds. So each of these <coughs> um, suits mm -hmm. has some special thing that they do um, with those cards. So um, there's a card that gives you plus eight molt for every club. Um, there, the one for diamonds is every time you play a diamond card that scores, you get one dollar, right? Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, like it, it's it's you know if you're already rolling, then it's a great add-on, but it doesn't help you score anything, obviously. No, like yeah, it's basically it's only good if you're already. It's a win more card. Very much so. So if you're gonna cut okay. something, I'll cut diamonds first. Get twenty-one dollars. I don't think I'll be able to make too much money this blind. Yeah. So. I'm just going to get the money and then buy something nice here. Um, what the fuck? This is a tough call. Do I go for a flush? I think I go for a flush. Oh, I already have a flush, actually. I gotta remember that. That's a weird one. Oh, that's not a flush. Oh, it no, is! Uh, Sorry, yeah, yeah, because of the... Yeah, the blur exactly. Joker. It's funny because <clears throat> so you're playing with the high contrast thing. Because I don't yeah. play with it, it's easier to see the the I flush. Like, when I have that card. Flush. Or yeah, this... actually, I kind of want to start upgrading the flush. Oops. Yeah, I want to upgrade the flush. Well, you don't have the uh, the thing to upgrade. Right here. Here. Two pairs still just level one. Well, no, because oh, yeah. upgraded by a supernova. No, no, it's not. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got your saying. Got him. Good job. Jesus Christ. Nicely done, Mike. <sighs> not playing a lot. All right. Now it's time to go play this game people are playing. <laughs> Galatro? Galatro. My son is doing this new thing. Yeah, he's really enjoying this. I don't know why. He goes. He he he'll if we'll we'll say something anything, and uh -huh. he'll say maybe it's not thing you just said. Maybe it's gibberish. We're <laughs> 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 a contrarian. I love it. He's like so maybe good. it's not to. <laughs> Maybe it's nah nah. nah. 
That's great. It's quite, it's quite adorable. That's amazing. So now I said, every time you make up a word, I'm going to tickle you. And he's like, <laughs> so it's uh... fun. And also, like, this is quote unquote punishment. <laughs> <laughs> So now he'll start saying it. He'll be like, maybe it's not thing you just said. Maybe it's nah. And I'm like looking at him real closely. And he goes, no, don't tickle me. <laughs> oh. uh, That's, very, That's very silly. All right. What is going on with this? Let's see. Hi, Jimbo. All right. Teach me. You know, um, that rule still going to be in effect when he's 14 years old. And um, <laughs> yes, every time you make up a word, I'm gonna tickle you, Dad. <laughs> I'm in front of the school, Dad. What the fuck? <laughs> so Should have thought about that sooner. All right, what's going on? Earn chips by playing poke. You two are a chip. So you poke your hands into the in the run info area. All right, got it. I yeah. might have been making some poor choices here, but whatever. I think you'll make it through it. I might. So the idea is like, hey, maybe. Mm -hmm. What was you that? Said maybe... Can or you say like again? low value, right? You get rid of low value. Hand of five. And... Yeah. Yeah, just play poker hands. That'll get you that score. Mm -hmm. Ooh, close. But you got it this time. You have a you have a straight right there. I don't want to do yeah. straight though. Straights aren't good for me. Mm. Well, I mean, actually, this is just a straight flush. But I told you this is a woke deck. Straights aren't good all of a sudden. They've been good <laughs> for all of human history. Only, <laughs> only the gays now. <laughs> oh, we, we went there. We went there, y'all. Yeah, straight flushes, I don't think, work too well. Yeah. I already just try to... Just try to do regular flushes and just build this number up. I yeah, think. makes sense. Come on, Fisherman Joker. Get them numbers up. Oh, these are... These numbers are not growing very fast. And so when your deck runs out, that's when the game ends? The number of hands no. goes to zero. Oh, number of hands left. Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You only have a certain number of hands. But you... Okay, all right, cool. By the way, I mean, that voucher is a good thing to start with because it... Yeah. Uh, I forgot which... Oh, I'm on fifth ante, though. I don't know if I'll even get that far. Mm. Yeah, why not? I got money. Yeah. I can afford to spend. All right. Let's see what arcana we get. We have mystery box. That's nice. So if you bonus card those eights, then that's going to help, um, you know, get them get a little more beefy. Uh, I think I'd rather... Okay, now I have booster packs. Oh, Ugh, yeah. God, again. Yep. <laughs> typical typical I think I'm gonna online just... card yeah. game economy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm just going to go hard on flushes. Okay. This probably is not the right thing to do, but I do not care. Oh no, I'm poor now. <laughs> um, oh, that's good. Typical card game economy. Sorry. Glass. <laughs> no, thank you. I'll get Molt. Oh, I get another card. Yeah, get that purple, yeah, sure. man. Oh. No. Okay. Because I don't want just... red. Okay. Well, yeah, I know you can discard, but it's like first you have to get it, and then you discard, and then it's a random one, and you have no idea whether or not it's going to be useful. And like even <laughs> though every tarot card is marginally useful, I feel at the moment I think I feel a bit more comfortable just getting something that's like a more consistent value. Sure. Um. Although t it, you can also read it the other way. Um, discard this purple thing and then sell the card to get a dollar or two. You could, yeah, but like, 
Eh. Nice. Okay. Well, hot damn. I need to get this malt out. I think I'm going to need to get rid of Square Joker at some point. Oh, yeah, that would be that's not a good one. For consecutive hand played without playing your most played. Yeah, that, that ain't happening. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's like the worst rear Joker. But let's do wackiness. Mm -hmm. Add a blue seal. Wacky. <laughs> Red seal. All eight chrome. To, oh, hell no. Destroy one random card, add two random in hand. No. Uh. Let's high roll. Um, also, in terms of. Um... Okay. Power ups. Each card can have a seal and a bonus thing and um, like foil or whatever. So there's three mm -hmm. layers of, of power up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just, just to make sure, because like I wasn't clear on that. I thought like if I gave it something foil, it would get rid of the it bonus. Get rid of the other thing. Right. But it doesn't. Okay, that's good to know. I actually, I thought that. <laughs> yeah, it can have a bonus from tarot, a bonus from. Um, um, spectral, and also and then, something like a card quality. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So again, and the game doesn't tell you that. It does not. Hmm. I need more Jupiters. Andrew, mm -hmm. can you hack into the servers and give me more Jupiters? It'll only affect your you next gotta game. gotta get into the mainframe. <laughs> well, I've, I expected you to be a better hacker than this, Andrew. More like get into the game frame. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna just play something. <laughs> you're you're really nailing it. <laughs> oh, these are both terrible. Man. Yeah. God damn it. Destroy? I don't want to destroy things. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that the, the first one's not bad, I guess. Oh, uh, no. Um, I probably should have taken it, but... I don't know, I was just That's worried. Okay. Probably for no good reason, but I was just like... What about my spades and clubs? <laughs> what about my spades and clubs? I mean, they could have just fucking died. I mean, who knows? That's what nerds always say. What about my spades and clubs? I heard that so many times in high school. I can't even. I can't even count. I I, I I hear you, man. I heard. <laughs> oh jeez. Thank goodness. Yeah. yeah I'm hearing that. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Hey, I can. Thank you. Oh, right. so, one in fifteen chance. That is the first time a lucky card has ever done anything for me. Nice. One bolt per consecutive hand played without scoring a face card. You riding the bus, Mike? What? You riding the bus? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Each playing card with diamond suit gives one and a half multiplier when scored. Suit changes at the end of the round. I mean, it could be good. Yeah. Or do we just take a pack? Oh, can we look at our deck? Our deck is pretty standard, I see. Yep. 
Yeah. For now. Zawaruto. Oh, none, none of you have watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, have you? No. I, I have not. Oh my goodness. Un I, I need to. It's on my list. I try. I watched Un first. Altered. My my it, cousin love or not my cousin. My niece loves that show. Mm. It's a good show. She said, she, I see I you too are. I use the phrase uncultured for people who don't watch that. <laughs> you aren't, you don't like the show? Uh, it's okay. Wait, which, which seasons have you watched? You're in uh, trouble now. Andrew. I think I got... If you only say season one, then... Or season one and two... Been I understandable. Got, Those are through, easily the worst. I think I went through the stand season. Like I, I understand the appeal. There, it's. It gets a lot. It does get better, but I will also say, like, I it's a it. show that like goes off the rails in, in like all the best ways. So I watched the first four episodes in one sitting, and frankly, I was like, "Yeah, I'll get oh, back wait, to it." Once again, of which se of which season? Of the first season. For seasons one and two are not that good. <laughs> yeah. Um, because I watched it and I'm like, okay, I mean it's okay, but like I was thinking, yeah, I'll get back to it because they didn't captivate me. Um same thing happened to me for Steins Gate. That one oh, I have Steins Gate. What an in, what a weirdly interesting show. Yes. <laughs> well said. Cause um I I watched the first half of the series um, over like months, and then I watched the second half over like a day. Hmm, okay. It and how got, was it? Was it, it was it was excellent. It was compelling, oh, and it deserves nice. to be on the yeah, top of the you list. You have to get through the first six episodes. First six yes. episodes are set up, and they're very. But then it's all of a sudden, yeah, all of a sudden everything goes nuts. Yeah. <laughs> All those dominoes come tumbling down, baby. Nice. Baby. <laughs> the baby part was important. Um, also, <laughs> also it, it was um, a little tough getting through the first part because, um, like, like, like I said, it is a lot of setup. And it was kind of grating for me because the main character was just such a stupid asshole. I'm like, <laughs> you're just a dumb asshole and I have nothing to redeem you with. Fuck you. Why am I fucking you <laughs> I hate this Tru guy. Truly terrible dude. Yes. <laughs> this guy stinks. But unlike he many really does. People, unlike many fictional people we talked about this um session of talking, he has an actual arc, which makes it worth it. Mm, that'll do it. Yeah. Nash out. Ooh, a negative. I don't have anything that gives me stuff for. Oh no. When zero discards. Hmm. Oh yeah, I could totally see myself playing this for. <laughs> 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 totally, totally could see that. Oh, it's the hours in about two and a half weeks. It's so. Uh, see you yeah. Guys later, I lost my life to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. You said debuff, they can't count for points. You could just uh, use them to make hands. Exactly. Well, that's rude. Yup. Oh, let's roll the dice. I lost the roll. Oh. A negative one is, I mean, something. Oh, maybe. I can just, I mean, it's, I can just have it for free for now. Yep. All face cards are debuffed. Oh dear. Okay. Oh. Goodbye. Oh. Whoops. 
Go away. Why are right, these guys hating? Yes, I got it. You see me that. roll and they hate, man. <laughs> oh, they really hate. This like sucks. <laughs> they, they really don't like you, I guess. <laughs> oh, dear. Oops. Poker Ultimate grief. Kamigawa. <laughs> <laughs> we are very. Oh, close. God. We are. Oh, come on. Killing me. Three hands, eh? That's the lateral. <laughs> You're gonna be hearing lots of that in your head. Not, not from me. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> All right, and we got it. <laughs> At least this should do it. If oh it boy, this is rough. I'd be kind of surprised. This is Sparta. It is oh. very easy for in this game to be. To get into a spot where you're just like, oh Jesus. Yeah, I can't. I don't why, think I can win this. Why yet. am I even continuing? Well, fuck yep. me. This is no good. <laughs> you have a wave of regret wash over you. It's like, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. <laughs> this was a mistake. Yeah, that was not. This is no good. Roll the dice. I lost the roll. All right, let's run again. This seems to happen a lot. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, fine. I'll do the thing that's actually Oh, the cards and wait, the cards that you like that don't contribute to the hand don't don't yeah, give you say. points. No, no, they don't give you points at all. Got it. There's a joker that lets them give you points, but you gotta get that joker first. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Yeah, the purpose is to get them out of your hand. Otherwise, <laughs> yeah. it's a yeah. It's basically extra discard. Yeah. All right. Let's see. What can we do here? Yeah. What's the discard do? It's discards the things you selected. Yep. Oh, you and like you just discard it and it and then yep. and you draw that. Does it? But it doesn't count as a hand. No, no. Uh -huh. You just draw whatever's next in your deck. Hmm. Plus ten mult of played hand contains a flush. Ooh, what do I get rid of for that? Do I get rid of hiker or square joker? Oh, um, I think I left seven out of eight. So I'll I don't know how. Yeah, because you're not. Yeah, you're you're kind of. It's not I'm scaling. Whole, I'm at the end. Yeah, you're not so scaling. Not, it's not going to grow much anymore. Whereas this is just a chunk. Yeah. Come on in, Mister Flush Man. Nice. Come on, Jupiter. Come they on, call that a bummer. Jupiter. Oh, Jesus. Sure. Butt joke. <laughs> what? <laughs> I heard. Double sure. cheek top. Butt joke. Yep. <laughs> You're double cheeked up. I need one more, right?
that was a waste of money. So I'm going to sneak away, but I'm oh, going to I'm exit, die. I'll, I'll exit like a Yu-Gi-Oh villain, given the circumstances. So <laughs> enjoy your new card game, fools. <laughs> oh my God. All right. See ya. Have a good night. Have a good Later, night. guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. So Michael, how how are you liking it? <laughs> Michael? Pretty cool. Yeah, seems fun. Nice. Hmm. I think I have to get a Welp, that's one way to do it. What happened? <laughs> Just got nothing. <laughs> oh, that is big old nothing burger. Very unfortunate. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I guess I can. I can still reroll. Okay, I can always discard. Huh? Okay. Uh, I died. Yep. Alright, I guess I will take this. Oh, this one's... Pillar is very difficult. I got ten buckarooskies. I'm so angry. <laughs> mm -hmm.
What happened? I told Mike this. The game I played last night, I was doing a run. And mm -hmm. I was trying to do a different take on a, a very good build. And okay. <clears throat> there might be room at the very high end for what I'm trying to do. But early on, I'm just going to end up doing the same thing. But as I'm going through this run with this mm -hmm. very powerful build, mm -hmm. I start getting the most ridiculous drops. I got more uniques in like the first 30, 40 levels uh -huh. than I've gotten in like the first 60. And so my character is just kitted out. Uh -huh. It's it's a it's a lot more powerful than what I was normally playing anyway, but then it also just has like like really close to like uh best in slot gear before the end game. Like it's it looks like a twink. Mm. Uh, and now I'm playing um, another patented Stephen Bill. Something that is like a it's a junker <laughs> oh dear <laughs> am I getting any awesome uniques no <laughs> it's very much a case of the rich, rich getting richer Yeah, this one's just not going to do it.
Fuck me. Hmm. <laughs> what the? Interesting. Hmm. This game is very interesting. Isn't it though? Yeah, it really is actually. <laughs>
Well, that's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Got a foily one. The foil one gave me more multiplier. Oh, yeah. That was sick. <laughs> Alright, now it's time for Steven to also start playing this game. Yeah. After you. I've got obligations to my stream. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say that? Uh... I hate you. <laughs> You're hilarious and I hate you so much. <laughs> Look, I have. Let's see how I have this. obligations to my stream. There might be uh, users geez. in there, in the chat, but they're not saying anything. <laughs> You're 100 percent correct. They are 100 percent bot. Oh, <laughs> and that's okay, Stephen. That's okay. We. I'm gonna. I'm gonna send right. them a message. I'm like, are you okay? Did you fall asleep on this screen? <laughs> Am I that boring to you, should good I, sir? Should I call the police like do you <laughs> you much like watching a youtube ad this shouldn't happen <laughs> tips on what tips on what I kind of can't lose with this plus 10 multiplier. Up. What ante are you on? Uh, two. Okay. For now. I assume tips on the game. <laughs> Let's go down. I have miscalculated. Oh, the prophecies? I am um, playing suboptimally. I, I keep deleting characters. <laughs> but basically, you pick a prophecy. Um, and they stack up. And when you oh, complete it, nice. think of it, think of it less like Take a prophecy, more like a quest. When you complete the prophecy part, the, the requirement, you get this a bunch two of selected cards to become bonus cards. Yeah, or... so when you kill the mob or do the part of the prophecy, you'll get there. Oh, um, Kingslayer, like oh, usually it's a specific okay. part or a specific part of the monolith. You might not have you gotten to that part of yeah, the Yeah, let's fucking do it. Does that make sense? No! Yeah. So Jora, I believe that one's actually part of a dungeon. So just keep playing and you'll get there eventually. You'll need keys and stuff. So. Who's playing? Ah, gotcha. Oh, is she giving you trouble? What? Huh? No, no, no. It's already active. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. It's just part of it. I'm... When you fulfill, well, let's you find out how this thing up. works. You'll just get a ton of loot, and the prophecy will oh. be fulfilled. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Wait, what happened? Uh, I had one of the lucky. Uh huh. Prior to get money. They basically just, yeah. exactly like just went uh, plus twenty, plus ten multiplier. Just like, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. So. Um, I don't think I think you should just play how you want and you're trying to farm the most efficient thing to do is to figure out what you wait want i want already oh and go from okay. there so you want to target farm certain things uh, dungeons that. work well if you can kill the boss quickly um you can also just do like pushing it's very much a choose your own adventure how many jokers can you have uh, five. Five, I, I okay. I don't think there's one, yeah. uh, one way. <laughs> yeah. Two selected cards to become I bonus cards. I don't think cards. the dungeons are necessarily 
the best. You unlucky? Um, Mr. Chips. The best way until you have a strong character. But as far as prophecies go, you don't really care. You're just gonna like, you're literally gonna choose whatever, and then eventually. Sure, I guess I'll take the strength and the devil. What are you trying to farm for? Oh lord. I keep trying to make shaman work. <laughs> but I'm a glutton for punishment, so I don't yeah, I, all I right. don't play a standard build. <laughs> I truly think that Primalist is the most fun only because of his jump. Like this jump is the most satisfying move in the game. Oh. Mm -hmm. I want to do something with this. Ooh. Devil. Hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice that before. Interesting. I guess I'll take this one, but it's not very good. <laughs> yeah, everything in the game, if you die, you get kicked out of the instance. I'm so rich. You're rich, bitch. So that's why um, using keys and stuff. I, I, I am, actually. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't have to be I'm that pretty, mean. That was unnecessary. I'm pretty happy it, that I'm rich. The prophecy doesn't But yes, you way. were also very mean. But the key does. <laughs> you're, you're, you, you're kind of making me cry, Michael. <laughs> I'm sorry, bud. Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay, well, hello. Celestial Verse. Pile. Yeah, dying. How it happens to the best of us. Alright, well, this is going to go crazy. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Yep. Choose you. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. All right. I just can't lose because you skip the rest. Oh, you should stream. I want to see what, how your thing's going. All right. Did Steven step out for a sec? Uh, maybe he muted, but I have no idea what's going on. I had a chatter. Oh, gotcha. Oh. So I was doing chat things. And I didn't got it. Like, uh, or I answered a question. Um, oh, that's cool. You got you got chatter. Oh, nice. look at you. You're just like, oh, you're a big boy now. <laughs> you're a big boy. I'm fine. I'm, 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 I'm really, I'm psyched, really bro. I'm bro. wrong. You're bro, bro, I'm wrong. I'm like your son. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's like, Steven, my son would never be caught dead playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, got you. <laughs> Stephanie has this awesome uh, story about a friend of hers. Um, and her friend is, like, generally awesome. First hand is drawn face stuff. down. That's not fair. <laughs> But she's oh, there like, are much worse ones. I she's suppose. Like, my, my mom doesn't. My parents don't understand me, because they were from like China, and they're really annoyed that they moved to the U.S. In search for a better life. They get to mm -hmm. put meat on the table like every week, mm -hmm. and their child became a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she told me about this person. Yeah. 
I love that story. <laughs> There's <laughs> that pretty nothing funny. more human than <laughs> I've done all this for you. And your child is just like, I, I don't even want that. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not about that life. I don't. I'm not even about that. that. I'm not even about that life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. That just amuses me no end. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, by the way, in the options, you can actually switch the play and discard buttons if it feels better for you. You can switch the what? The play and discard buttons. Oh. Well, that's the first round in a while that I need to just win. That was, that was not very helpful at all. <laughs> well, if you burn your, if you use your mercury right now, I mean, this is it's fine. I just oh, you have a straight. Okay. You have a straight. It's, it's totally fine. It's gonna be a ton. Oh, and you have two more hands. No, you're fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm what totally are you cool. worried about? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> As you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Each king held in hand gives. Hmm. Well, let's start with this. That question: Do I not care about any of these jokes? Uh, oh, that is correct. Just <laughs> discard a spade card. Yeah, no, not for that. <laughs> the even one could be good, but. Play cards with even rank give plus four multiplier when scored. Yeah, Is that face cards don't plus count four as even. for suits. You can stack both. But I have, I have a set of five. Huh? Yeah, but you can get rid of any of them just by selling it. Gluttonous. I know, I know. I'm just thinking. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cards, suit. Each what does play the five one do again? Is... What's that? What does the flag one do again? Oh, yeah, that's probably it's... a weaker one. Oh, I felt like this was good. Really? It's okay-ish. Like, it's good early and mid, I think. Yeah. Later on, it's going to be pretty bad. And what's yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Again? I'm not seeing anything impressive. I beg a pack. <clears throat> oh, yeah. No, Arcana is definitely really good. Ooh, four might be good. Random planet on what you cards. Have. I don't have room for the planets as of yeah, right you now. Do. You can just sell or reuse the Mercury. Just click on it. Wait, how do I use it? You haven't. <laughs> oh, I thought it automatically got you. Nope. Oh, whoops. <laughs> if it's in oh. your inventory, it does not automatically get used. Oopsie poopsies. <laughs> Lovers can be decent. Ooh, Ooh foil. Chain. Ooh, hold on. Now. Well, there's a one in four chance. <laughs> so, 75% chance you get nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. And now Fool's probably really bad, because Fool's just going to turn into Mercury. And you want to be doing things that are better than Yeah, no, player. that's better than that, yeah. I like High uh, Priestess, but Wheel of Fortune, if you roll high, can be really good. This is one selected card to a wild card. Well, definitely, well, I get two. I get two. Yeah. This one's definitely good. Well, it depends if you're doing, like, suit stuff or not. But Oh, you get well, two of them anyway, so. Yeah, I get two of them anyway, so I just get to use uh, how like, kind of no... There's kind of no uh, no downside. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to roll it. Roll, roll the dice. Nope. Well, <laughs> it could have been good. It could have been good. It could have been really good.
Yeah, we will keep burning cards from the deck. And buy one, more planets. One, two, three, four. Oh, I've got a bunch of diamonds. Ooh. Well, that's good. You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could just do this. Retrigger each played. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Retrigger. So basically, so you know how during scoring each card gets scored once. Okay. And all effects that like all effects that would apply to it get applied once. Gotcha. Retrigger means you score it again and all effects get applied to it again. Got so it. you have something that like grows the card. It would actually grow twice. Got it. Each play card with club suit gets one and a half multiplier when scored. This is play cards with club suit gets four when scored. I don't understand. Yeah, the ancient joker of the suit changes at, at the end of each round. Right, but it's still one and a half. Right, but you don't. You have no way of predicting what it's going to be. Oh, I'm sorry. This is times one and a half. Guys. Yes, that's times one and a half. All right. Oh, this seems pretty good, but let's see. Do I have just a pack where I get planets? Yeah. Oh, retriggering a three is actually solid. Could be. Because I have a lucky three in there. Mm. Ah. <laughs> planets. <laughs> when doubt uh, planets. Planets. Uh... Kind of low value there. Nine thousand <laughs> over nine thousand is what I have to score. <laughs> Ooh, what clubs do I have? Fifteen. Discard. No. Um, hmm. Over 9,000. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Is over 9,000 good? Is it bad? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? It's a mystery to all of us. 20 molt minus 4 multiplier per round played. Oh, no, you can't oh, do that now. That's not helpful. <laughs> I'm on round 11. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, plus one slot. Uh huh? <clears throat> plus one slot. Oh, that's for consumable. Yeah, that's not that great. Plants. I don't think it's very good. Plants. Planets. Planets. I'm on. I'm all on the the two pair time frame. Two pairs, pretty solid. Easy to yeah. get. Minus one hand size. All right, let's see what you got. I bought a trash can. <laughs> what? 
Oh no! Well, I'm going to be poor very soon. Um, <laughs> coming boss, whenever you play a flush, set your money to zero. And what does my deck do? Plays flushes. That seems like a mistake. <laughs> I it, it really is. It really is. Come on, multiply me, baby. Look at that. 8680 right off the bat. Uh, uh, multiply me, baby. <laughs> that's the most our friend group thing ever. <laughs> We were all in, in elementary school going, like, playing Master Blaster. <laughs> I'm glad someone else played that game. I wasn't sure if it would work. Maybe that wasn't a thing. <laughs> Whoa. All cards are considered face cards? Does that mean they all get... Wait, no, that's only for the purposes of, like, things that save face. I believe so, yes. It's not like they all gain 10 points. I do not think they do, no. Unfortunate, though it may be. Yeah, this is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool game. Yeah. Alright. Give me something good. That is something good. Gracias. Oh yeah, for sure. Make my ace a lucky ace. <laughs> All right, time to be poor. I've been there. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm still there, but you know, I'm doing my bestest. Yang, I'm on a computer asking people for money. <laughs> <laughs> oh Come on. Get on my level. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Most likely two. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> Celestial hack. Please. Jumbo standard pack. Sure. I don't need the multipliers for this one, guys. <laughs> this flush is going to be perfectly fine. <laughs> Five bucks? What is this bullshit? Any <laughs> cards up here? Yeah, sure, why not? Hmm, minus one hand size. Hmm. Oh shoot. I kinda want these things clubs. Need jokers at all. These cards fucking stink. These ones are not the worst thing in the universe. You know what? Let's go for another one. Another Arcana pack. Creates two random tarot cards. Give me that interest. Give me that money. 
Give me that. Arcana. Play only one hand type this round. Yep. Good luck. What does that mean? So whatever your first hand, the, whatever the first successful hand you make, that's the that's only, the way you only can hand you're allowed to play for the rest of this round. Like the only type of hand, right? Like like two yep. pair. Yep. If you play two pair, you're only allowed to play two pair. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Well, then two pair it is because two pair is safe. <laughs> two pair is safe as hell. <laughs> uh, no I had a full house in hand. I was like, mm, I can't think of it. bit hard to do in it. You're like, I'm not going to be playing anything if I play that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you already have it. Hmm. Multiply. Ooh, I c oh, my hand has two or more eights. I get a planet. Nice. Oh, it's mm -hmm. Mars. I'm not going to be able to get it. <laughs> <laughs> that one's a bit, a bit difficult. Uh -huh. Yeah, two two pair it is. <laughs> I will use the Mars. It will never happen, but <laughs> I will use it. Uh, should have done that one. Ooh, black hole. Upgrade every poker hand by... Hmm? Uh, seems better than everything else. Oh, wow. That uh, seems good. Moving on. Get to 20,000.
All right. Multiplying. Oh, let's have this first. Two hundred forty eight. Oh no! Oh no! Mm -hmm. What happened? I only played five cards. I didn't play five cards. Oh, and? Uh, it didn't matter, I guess, but... No, you don't have to play the full five. Yeah, so when you play a hand, you don't have to play the full five. Got it. So if you want to keep the other cards, Got you it. don't need to play them. Wow, that actually took three hands to get the small blind. Add foil holographic to select card in hand. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's good. Nice. Foil. Well, not the best thing in the world, but whatever. 30,000. Heart. Whoops. All right. Fuck. Yeah, I too am not playing optimally. <laughs> <laughs>
Discard two random cards per plate hand. Fine. Fine. Club. Okay, I misunderstood how this boss fight works. Okay, I'm in a much better position than I thought. Yep, there we go. Oh. Too bad these chips are all virtual. <laughs> you said it, pal. <laughs> I wish I'd be fucking rich right now. Rich? Well, richer, I suppose. Wait, do I just have it? I just hold this. Hmm? Oh, I did have it. Oh, shit. No, no, I did not have a straight flush. <laughs> but this will almost certainly win me the game. <laughs> like, I can't do the math, but that seems like a lot of points. <laughs> Seems like all the points. Increase the rank of up to two selected cards by one. Yep. Or you can get a bunch of money. 14 bucks seems like a good amount of money, though. It's a pretty good amount of money. <laughs> yeah, they sure ain't nothing to bucks. sniff at. I just sniffed the money for sure. <laughs> just a Let's have a flush here. Mm. Mm. 
Terra smile upon you. Tear a smile upon you. Well, this ain't great. Ooh. It's actually cutting close. Actually, took some effort. I mean, <laughs> effort. <laughs> Question marks. All right. Sweat immediately. Walking up that hill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's my voucher do? Oh, damn it! This one sucks. Yeah, it only reels the top ones. Mega standard pack. Ooh, Joker Tarot Planet Spec. Wait, what? What does that do? Oh, I think that like multiple copies of the same thing can appear in the same selection. Oh, that doesn't really help me that much. No, I didn't really. Let's sigh. Okay, well. How am I supposed to beat this? Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to use my money, so. This was easier than I thought. Or maybe. Maybe not. One, two, three, four. I think I do try to high roll. Ooh. Dang. Yeah, I think we gotta try to high roll this. What are we high rolling? Oh, Trying to get a flush with the spade multiplier. Come on. And, ah, oh, Jesus. All right. Oh my God, come on. I died. <laughs> Say it ain't so. 
Unfortunately, it is. Okay. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> All right. So, so, so apparently, so endless gets real hard real fast. <laughs> like, oh man. Ooh. Eight cards with close. Oh wow. That's. Win a run without playing a three of a kind. Okay. That was... Oh. Oh, that's really cool. Holy moly. Who is score? Ooh. Jokers left of this card. Huh. Interesting. I'm gonna watch Mr. Michael Young. Oh yeah. boy. That is not right. No way. Uh, I think I lost. Yeah. Oof. Damn. That was close. You know, I don't appreciate that, like, when you get a game over, that little Joker guy shows up to fucking taunt you. Like, I feel bad enough as it is. <laughs> this game is ruining my life. <laughs> <laughs> Double flush. Very powerful. <laughs> Does uh, nothing? Question mark. <laughs> uh, I think so. There might be some secret to it, but I haven't figured it out yet. I'm gonna. Pre I'm gonna presume there's some sort of secret thing in it too. Yeah, Alright, planet time. Planets. Oh boy. Bunch of tough ones, to be sure. Well, apparently Day 9's been playing Bellatro a fuck ton as well. Nice. Retrigger his card one time, yeah. Red Seal. Huh? What was that? I Steven? always knew there was something I liked about that guy, Day 9. <laughs> He's a good, uh... Ooh, that's a nice 9. Okay, apparently I just have to play Flushes for... I should yep. win.
Oh, damn it. That actually wasn't enough. I thought it was just fine. Uh, you're fine. He'll be fine. Maybe. Didn't optimize to ensure I would get it on the previous hand. <laughs> That's interesting. That one can be good if you roll high. Oh, two more, two more jokers. Got it. That seems better. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. It was not better. Mm -hmm. If first discard of round has only one card, destroy it and earn three buckaroos. I get it to destroy cards, I guess that. Yeah, and you can get some money. Ooh, planets. Oh wait, flush. I've been working on those. <laughs> oh yeah, the oh. power. Well, good luck. You asshole. This is easily one of the hardest bosses. The fuck was this bullshit? Yup. The fuck is this bullshit? Well, at least it came up early and not late. Unfortunately, you got this in an early ante, so it shouldn't be too Yeah, exactly. Bad. At least it came up early and not late. Jesus. Could you imagine if this came up at, like, ante 7? Although there are, way, honestly, ways around it. But For example, you could just skip the first two, the small and the big blind. At this rate. You're fine. You're eight off. You could literally just play an ace and be fine. That's true. <laughs> Big Nine's the latest Bellatro video. My social life is now gone because of Bellatro. <laughs> and the caption on the thumbnail just says, I'm going to starve. <laughs> oh yeah, I could totally see this game being... I... The replay value is high. Yeah. A plus! I like, I'm going to starve. <laughs> Ooh, a mega buffoon pack. How convenient.
bush. Ooh, plus one interest. How did I get interest? What did I get? Oh, so every five dollars you have in your bank, at the end of every successful round, you'll get one dollar of interest. Oh, got it. By default. It's possible some of the decks change that formula. Raise the cap on interest earned per round to ten dollars. Oh. But I guess you can there's a cap to how much interest you can earn. But I've you earn a dollar for every five dollars. Really yeah, hard. Yeah, but if you had it. like fifty dollars you can earn ten. I guess. You know, just never spend your money. Oh, those tarot cards are really good there. But so is, so are buffoon packs. Oh, the poor man's Joker. Could be good. Could be real good. First played face card gets times two multiplier. Could also be real good. Whatever. Okay, whatever. Okay, so two random planet cards. Must have room. So I have to be in a game first. <laughs> what is it? Two slide cards. Multipliers, huh? Hold oh, on. Careful, 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 careful. Uh, okay. What happened? You canceled out the wild card on that nine. Oh. Yeah, there can only be one tarot effect, one seal, and got one it. card quality. And got it, seals, got it, got it. Okay. I believe, come from spectral cards. Got it. Yeah. Cool, good to know. Yeah. Ooh. Two pair. Three of a kind. Oh, actually, hold on. Here we go. Two pair. Full house. Royal flush. Oh, God, the, the multiplier. Oh, the extra multiplier. <laughs> to be fair, I think actually the multiplier on that one is better than the wild card. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, look! More two of a kind. More, more two pairs. Two pair is the way to win. Or leveling up two pairs seems like really strong. It can be. It scales slower than some of the other ones. I mean, obviously. Sure. But if you can get, you can level it up a lot. Like, yeah, that's a perfectly fine strategy, I suppose. Marlow. Are you sure you don't want that voucher? Think of all the <laughs> money you could have if you already were rich. <laughs> you could let your money make you more money. You're so right. You're welcome. Ooh, an ace. When this card stays in hand. For <laughs> <laughs> I'm easily, I'm easily swayed. <laughs> <laughs> guys got my vote. All heart cards. Oh, look at that. I don't care about hearts. In fact, goodbye. Farewell. Probably, uh, uh, I think you could have also gotten rid of the uh, the five. 
The what? Like you could have thrown the five in with it because you threw out a five. Like a oh. five of hearts. Oh, okay. So you have, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you can probably get rid of the jack too because you just played two of them. That's true. You don't want to get rid of the fight? I mean, you don't have to. Why, oh, wait, hold on. Actually, before you do that, click on run info. Yeah, so that will actually show you the different payouts. Because depending on how much you've leveled them up, the payout, yeah, your payout for two pairs is actually better for full, than full health. 60 times four, yeah. Uh, use the other one. What? Use the good nine. Oh yeah, the multiplier nine. Sorry, I was thinking of it as a wild card. Oh yeah, 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 no. no. <laughs> it is now good nine. True story. Hooray, victory. Oh, I am getting some cash, though. Cash money, nice. baby. Plus one card slot, baby. Wait, oh, it, available in shop. Yeah, I, I, would, I could take it. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, that's just solid. And that has been very good, although. Ugh. I kind of want this, but I kind of want to. I kind of like where I'm at. Mm -hmm. What? Oh. Actually, uh, I'll sell this for. Well, you don't have to. You have space. No, no, I just needed money. Oh, I see. Yeah, this, this thing is solid. This is just good. <laughs> It is good, but the thing is, with that, that you can't really build around it. It's very much like right, a right, right, right. It's it's random, yeah. Blob of reasonable stuff, right? Thing. Whereas with the ace thing, if you can get to a position where like your deck is mostly aces, right, that right, right. Hurts, yeah, right. Do it again. Boop. Thirty by four. Okay. Oh my. Uh, what is it? Diamond this time. Yeah, looks like it. Oh yeah, my face cards get times two. Mm -hmm. Plus 15 bullfire when zero discards. <laughs> I mean, maybe it works. Who knows? It's kind of tempting because I always I get to use my discard kind of like liberally. Yeah. Anyway. Let's try it. Let's try it for funsies. <gasps> for science. Go for it. For science. What is it? Clubs. For money. Money.
Yeah. Multiply it. Multiply it. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Does this what? do? Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. It's like, I'm going to win anyway. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this will actually do it, though. You can just get rid of, like, the 10. Well, I mean, like, you can just start discarding a few things. Yeah, I think I'm going to just because I can. Yeah. Yeah, you need to just, like, get rid of that seven. And possibly that king. I don't know. It doesn't matter, yeah. I think it should be okay either way. Yeah, just, I would just play those four. And possibly the king, but... Uh, who am I joking? I think it's fine. I think it's fine. <laughs> Actually, here's something. Um, when you get to your shop, try clicking on your, the jokers you have, like left clicking, uh -huh. and try dragging them around. See if you can drag them around. Yeah. Oh. Take the plus change 15 one and move it all the way to the left then. There you oh go. yeah, because that can multiply it. Oh wait, yep. no, but that doesn't... It does. That's exactly how it works. So that abstract one, also move it to the left. This Basically one? all the... F no, no, no. Yeah, that one. Well, no, because um, this one will trigger on the spade, or on the on the suit that gets played. That one is fine. Oh, but, but it, the... it will if I already ran out. Mm -hmm. Put this on. Well, no, it yep. doesn't. It, it does it at the. It I doesn't. Think so. No, it, well, it triggers cards and whatever triggers off of cards first, and then it triggers the jokers in order. Well, I think it's still f worth it to put them there. Yeah, we can try. Yeah. Just for well, no, just for later when you do get, if you ever do get things that like you know, give you actually right, 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 right. Removes the card enhancement. Oh no, I don't think so. I don't think so, <laughs> Captain. <laughs> like, no, it's like no, thank you. Mm -mm. Uh uh. No, sir. Sure, let's do it, guys. Well, I should technically be careful about that. About what? Wait, about one. Oh shoot, that actually really sucks because Why? Use. I can't use these tarot cards yet. Because they and? have to choose cards. And? I can't choose cards right now. Yeah, so. But like I can't take any more like yeah, uh, consumables. The planets Oh the, the planet was planets you get from the pack get used immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haha, butt joke. Heh. Heh. Alright, that's fine. That one's manageable. Oh yeah, that's fine. Convert things to clubs. Loses to. <laughs> uh, I actually don't care for this at all. Oh, I got. I got to do my discard. Uh, well, I actually don't mind keeping some clubs. <laughs> Also, for future reference, mm -hmm. when you have things that like change a card's suit, yeah. the card does keep all of its other power-ups. Okay, it does. It just changes yeah. the suit. Okay. Yep. 
just changes okay. the state. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, so if you have something that's like already pretty souped up and you want to change the suit, you don't need to worry about it. Got it. Alright, what's our situation for a flush flush of by six? So base two hundred, so might as well do it. Mm -hmm. Base two hundred. Like it's it starts off at fifty by six. Mm. I was trying to decide if I should do the flush or I should. Oh, like a two or something else. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, yeah, two. I don't know. Up deep. I think this is gonna be fine. <laughs> don't know your clubs. Must be nice. So this... So how do you score the stone card then? Do they ever score? So, yes. So stone cards, basically, if you have any... If you build a hand that does not use up all five card slots, you can just toss the stone card in to get another... And it just gives you extra 50 chips. Got it. Yep. But obviously, it also means that it is not usable with any hand that requires all five cards. Right, 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 right. Ooh. Ooh, indeed. It's a pretty I'll good take one, it. Honestly. <laughs> Hell scope. Honestly, the $4 one's probably better. Because you're guaranteed to get one that you want, which is, you know, butt joke. Butt joke time. 80 by 5. Not bad. Not bad at all. Money. Hello. I was going to say, a little low value, but <laughs> going to be okay, I think. All right, don't actually know if this is better. I actually don't think it's better. I think it's better to keep the one and a half multiplier. Oh, well, who cares? Figure it out. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't you matter did what. It. <laughs> Not in the least. Wow, it's a nice cash. That's some cashola over here. Indeed, it is. Oh my! Yes.
I get two of these? Ooh, what's this? These other uh, ones are lame. So I guess I just take these. Clubs. We Oops. club in over here. I should already have it, but my money. Give me my money. <laughs> Give me my money. <laughs> Ooh, the tarots. Ooh, twelve dollars back. left card into the right card well none of these cards are good enough to do that so i think i'll just gain some money and then immediately spend that money on more cards <laughs> <laughs> sounds exactly right <laughs> we gain more money <laughs> Plants are better. Hey, I'm never gonna get straight flush, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I do get full houses though, so full houses are pretty valuable. Of love. And I don't think I want any more curse. Next round, moving on. All diamonds are debuffed. Woo, nice. 
that. Three of a kind's at fifty over five. Let's start using my discards right off the Oh, the sweet irony, Yang. Alright guys, I'm gonna grab some food. Have a great night. Alright, yeah. Oh geez, you're turning into a robot. What? You, you briefly turned into a robot. See ya, dude. 